Yeah, we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Monster Rain from Rochester. Hell no to HCO. H2O. Wasn't that what the people of New Orleans were saying? Well, that song is stuck in a lot of people's heads today. <laughs> Stephen Lynch in studio. He's playing the ONA Travel and Virus Comedy Show this Saturday in Camden, New Jersey, across the river from Philly. And, of course, Louis C.K. will also be there, and he's in the studio as well. Hello, fella. It's his birthday, and he uh, walked in just bitching and complaining. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to be here a while ago, I think. I know. What I happened? Bad morning. Well, I would. Do, I walked my daughter to school with my wife uh, uh, and on the way here, and, of course, my daughter won't carry her backpack. She won't carry her own backpack because... Uh, it's impossible. <laughs> it took want... forever just to get her to a corner where I could get a cab here. Yeah. And she keeps crouching her whole body to the sidewalk and just saying, it's cold and I can't carry this and I want someone to carry me. She just won't walk to school. Right. It's torture. Isn't she 15? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 15 in kindergarten. <laughs> and so I'm like, you got it. This is it. This is life. You got to go to school. Just go. I didn't like it either. Yeah. And uh, and she makes me carry her backpack, and uh, which I carry. There's no point to it being a backpack because I carry it. It might yeah. as well be a grown-up backpack, a, a briefcase. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Instead of a pink attaché case, uh, Hello Kitty backpack. Ah. And so then uh, I get to finally a corner where I'm soaked in sweat, and I get to a corner, and it's my birthday. Nobody, nobody cares. Happy birthday, there, yeah, birthday. whatever, absolutely, whatever. My that it, the whole my birthday thing stopped it. You know, very early in the morning. <laughs> Few gifts, forget, you know. So then I get in a cab, and um, I get here. As soon as I get here, I realize I have her backpack, of course. Oh, boy. But now, how is she going to get any kindergarten work done without Not all of the tools that you need to take yeah. with you? There's to nothing kindergarten. in What the is backpack? in there that she needs? There's a folder in which they put notes for us. That's all For it you. Is. It's, her backpack is a mailbag for us. <laughs> yes. That's all it is. And there's a water bottle, a little pink water bottle, which is there because they don't give them water in the public school. you got to send them with water or else they die. They just dehydrate. Yeah. So my wife, I called her because I had my phone off this morning, so I called her to say, I, I I have her. She goes. I know you have her backpack. She's crying. Come back and bring it. And I'm like, I'm at I'm at work right now. And she says, So come back here and bring her backpack. So yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's not a thing yeah. you can say. So to. so once somebody here is being very nice from your show and gonna bring it down to the school. But and I called her to tell her that. And she's like, Yeah, fine. So it's, Wait, not, it's not my birthday anymore. It's not being my birthday. So it what, that's what? It. I, I evaporated my entire birthday goodwill. But your wife is now say. mad because you're not bringing the backpack yeah. to, your, to your daughter. Even yeah. though you're making arrangements to have it dropped off. Even though I'm making arrangements to have it dropped off and I'm here doing what I do professionally. By the way, make sure we know who's bringing it because there are a couple of people on our staff that aren't allowed within 100 yards of a school. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I <laughs> Depending of on I their criminal past or what they're carrying on them. Who's, who's <laughs> bringing it? Who? Right, cool. Not that Duffy. The guy who oh, got he's it. the one, yeah. The you probably who, can't go near a school. Uh, yeah, the fellow who brushed his teeth with dog poop. And yeah. got thrown up in the face. Yeah. yeah. And that's actually who's... has a further education already. Wait, that idiot. <laughs> yeah. You forgot yeah, about you should this. just stop in there, maybe learn something. Happy yeah. birthday, Lou. Oh, thanks, fellas. dead before the next one. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, my friend. Uh, that must have been a nice birthday for a couple of years, September 12th. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Hey, I, happy birthday. Oh, did you? No, oh the tragedy. September 10th, I, I, we had my birthday party early because I was flying to L.A. on the, uh, the the big one. Yeah. And I, I flew the night before to L.A. It, uh, but we had a big birthday party for me in our backyard, and I, my wife got me a pinata, which we... Oh, look at that and traditional. The head of that pinata still hangs in our backyard. Really? It, it's just this symbol of the last normal moment. Oh, yeah, our yeah. Lives. It's just this withering. <laughs> or you're just a lazy Mexican. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who doesn't clean up his pinata? His own yard. <laughs> I bet you got some this morning, though, right? A little birthday? A l a somewhat. <laughs> you know, somewhat. <laughs> you know how it is on the old birthday. You know, you're going to need to go beyond innuendo for me to understand, because I didn't get nothing on my birthday. No. I got a pen. <laughs> a nice pen? It was a nice pen. It's a cross pen. Yeah. They're a nicer pen. <laughs> a cross. cross a pen. pen on your birthday is good if it's sticking out of a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't say I that. But it's, uh, yeah, but it's So you can't say that Wednesday. Wait, the pinata, what was it? Like it SpongeBob? Was, no, it was... <laughs> 
What? It was a burro, you know. A Don't burro, think. an authentic so it was uh, a real Spanish piñata. Yeah. Uh, so we just make fun of your whole tradition when we go ahead, man. get the SpongeBob one for the yeah. seven-year-old? Oh, Americanize yeah. uh, the yeah, piñata. Yeah, but if, if Mexicans grew up with uh, SpongeBobs, they would use them. They don't. It's yeah. not like burros have some no. integrity. No one says burros. It's burrow. <laughs> it's a burrow. It's a burrow. It's the burrow of Queens. You don't say burrow. It's the burrow of Brooklyn. But burrow is, is probably correct. Burrow. And what is that? A bull? No, it's the No, donkey. it's a, it's a jackass. It's, it's an ass. It's a, you know, <laughs> it's a half, jackass, you burrow. It's an animal that's half, uh, <laughs> I don't know, half horse, half donkey. Yeah. It's a burrow. Are they the ones that are sterile? When they're born, yeah, they can't. They, yeah, they, they, they can't reproduce. They really? can't reproduce. They're you can dead only. End. They're yeah. genetic dead end. You can only make one by breeding like a. It's a horse and a donkey. Horse and a donkey makes a burro. A, makes a. It's a, a horse burro. and a donkey. A burro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then they likes. can't mate with each other. It's yeah. the only animal that has that. It's a mutant. It's yeah. mutant. Yeah. 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 Wow. A horse and a donkey. Well, you know, I'm sure one is very happy and one is like, come on, all right, just hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who, I don't know. I think it, well, I guess male it goes either way. It has to be a male horse. Why? There's no way a female horse is tolerating some pesky donkey on a ladder. <laughs> what do you know about female horses in there? Believe me, very yeah. realistic. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. He's just saying, horse. yeah, the height thing yeah. would be a problem. Yeah. That's what he's so. getting at. You think a donkey isn't as apt to uh, be able to accept certain things than, than perhaps some videos you've watched? It is. It is. A donkey is able to physically do that, but I'm saying the height difference it makes it a problem. Horse. Yeah, like the horse has to be very patient and allow the donkey put its stupid hooves up and hoist yeah. itself, and no horse is wading through that. <laughs> no horse. Yeah, because usually horse sex is a much more beautiful act. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> It's just this mess. I know. I don't want to. It looks like it's not clumsy at all. Yeah. No, it looks I mean, like a fireman let like let go of the hose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's always what it, it looks like. It looks like a hose. Oh, somebody lost, this, lost grip of. <laughs> yeah, it's quick. Turn that off. It's going all over. Can we get Pat Duffy on the phone? I want to see how the backpack thing's going. Well, he hasn't left yet because I got it. My wife. Oh, here she is. I got hold on. A second. All right, boy. Hey. Go. <laughs> oh, Okay, so he brings it to Raquel in the office. And what does he tell the guard? What does he tell the guard when he gets there? He tells the guard that he needs to give his backpack to Raquel. Okay. Look at him. Her dad forgot to give her her backpack, and right. he tells us to bring it to the office, and she'll bring it. Okay. I'm sure, you know, he just has to, he'll probably just sign a pass or whatever. Right, he'll, yeah. We'll find the pack from here. Okay. Look, look at it. All right, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. She must have gone nuts. Yeah. Of course. I know. I know. Thank you. I'm really sorry, and I'll call you after radio. All right. All right. Bye. bye. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, dude, that's I hysterical. Say, I think Lou was apologizing. She didn't seem like she. She was like, "All right, have fun." No, she's okay now. Yeah, she's she's all right. you can tell. Yeah, I, it's. I think a lot of it is me. I think I. I think I feel. I fill in a lot of blanks with guilt. Because I'm listening so she to just she was just quiet. She didn't say it's okay last time I talked yeah. to her. So I'm like, oh, yeah. she's mad. But but she did have to explain she, to you the misery of the whole thing and yeah, how she course. had to get out of the water yes, and how she that. was crying and everything. Yeah. And, just a, that was good. Just yeah, she didn't yeah. save me that. I liked Wait. that. <laughs> and no happy birthday. No, no there's not a... No, I love oh, you. Oh, by the way, happy birthday. No, I yeah. love you. Yeah, happy nothing. birthday. Hey, have fun. And you were looking at oh, Pat Duffy, though, and laughing. Oh, I'm laughing so that this is the guy. Dude, he's got his forearm tat. 
Yeah. He's wearing his, his uh, a, Honest Abe Lincoln beard. Yeah. His Amish beard. Oh, yeah. He's got a Frank the Tank shirt on <laughs> yeah. with a picture of a tank on it. Yeah, so you're going to an elementary school to deliver a pink Hello Kitty backpack to yeah. the kindergartner right now. Yes. Yeah. You need to go. You need to see a woman named Rachel. He's taking it to Rachel. Raquel. Okay. Raquel, Raquel, you don't yeah. know. <laughs> you aren't listening. <laughs> oh, my God. You aren't listening. <laughs> Your wife is right. I, I suddenly see her point of view. Lou is an idiot. I didn't hear a word of it. <laughs> He'd be looking for this Rachel. I need to find Rachel. They're like locking down the school, hiding the Rachels that go there. He's going around every corner. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel, I've got your back. Back. <laughs> a lot of people pointing out that you're a beaten man on this feedback, Lou. Oh, totally. Oh, that conversation was just like, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what were you hearing in your brain during that conversation? You know what? I White felt noise bad or she was actually... not Raquel, the... <laughs> Charlie Brown's teacher. She, she was wah, being wah. pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, considering that it's my birthday and I didn't do anything wrong, really. Yeah. And I just made a mistake and I'm rectifying it. Yeah, you're fixing it. Considering them. all that, she was being pretty, <laughs> pretty nice. Well, th you just said you were sorry twice. I'm like, why are you sorry, Lou? Like, it was. She, I know. Like, I could hear her talking. It wasn't like she was. Bitching at you, she was like, "Yeah, she, you know how she freaks out." Like they were preemptive. Say, I'm sorries. Yeah, well, they were from before, from the oh, way okay. she sounded last time I talked. So they were owed. I would never apologize yeah. like that. I would just be angry back. Yeah, well, you that's can't, Jimmy you can't get through. You know, oh, you're probably right. That's how Jimmy rolls. Yeah, that's how you act with a girlfriend. Who, right, who, right. who there's no stakes except right. P-U-S-S. -S, I'll leave the last one off for savings. <laughs> <laughs> well, Puss is enough. <laughs> Puss is enough. <laughs> Yeah, not true. Yeah, no, you got it. Mm. All right. It's like the UN. It's there's some. I'm trying to get a diplomatic. Oh uh, my God, he's solution. Wear it. To Look, this he's war. wearing it. He's wearing it. Oh so God. No. Oh, oh God. Oh God, that's kind of gross. It's been fouled that's now. It's like a guy wearing your daughter's panties. Oh <laughs> yeah, he fouled it. <laughs> Let me see the back of that. What is it? Hello Kitty. Oh, it is a little Hello Kitty one. All right, it's adorable. That's a, to get it off the pal talk, that's enough exploitation by the most disgusting show on the face of, the of my beautiful little daughter. I know. And her and her bad they're a little, day. Their little Hello Kitty backpack. Yeah. Can we go through the backpack? See what's in there? No. I told you that's in. I I told you water. what's in there. Yeah. There's the water bottle here. Turn around. You see the pink water uh, bottle. Ah. Yeah. It's adorable. That, yeah. It's and it's all sparkly. That's nice. It's got little sparkles I, on it. I picked it out with her. It's way too big for her. Is it? Yeah, it looks pretty big. I did it. I, it was a real Pat father's Duffy. job of picking something out for his daughter. Yeah. And uh, my wife was like, oh, it's awful big. And then the teacher said, that's really big. Oh, so you, you, you screwed I, up. Yeah, completely. <laughs> what did you think? I mean, look, it fits him. It fits Pat Duffy. You could actually use that. It's yeah. so practical for him. That'd be good, though, <laughs> if your daughter starts selling encyclopedias. She can carry them all. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Jesus. Yeah, I know. She's two. Encyclopedias. She's five, but anyway. <laughs> all right. And if she takes a time machine back to the 50s, <laughs> yeah, sells encyclopedias. That's actually, yeah. people still do that door to door. Do they? No. Of course not. <laughs> they don't. No. Nobody does. All right, well, Pat. How, how far of a uh, truck? Don't tell exactly oh, where it is or anything. Give you money, like give you in a ra right, you know, miles. Three, uh, about four miles. By the time you get there, school's going to be over. I know. Yeah. It's kindergarten. Well, don't no, they go for 45 three. minutes? It's three. Oh. It's a whole day. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, it's a major. That's rough. Totally. It's a massive difference. That's more life. time for you. I went for wife. like 10 she's minutes. Been, she's been home every day. I mean, she we went to preschool, but it was like you go, you drop her off, and then you turn around. You go home, you take a dump and go back and get her. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. Oh, but she just started kindergarten? She started kindergarten this last uh, Tuesday. How'd she do day. first day with it being so long? Well, the so first long. day was just till 11. And oh, the kind of second day was just ease him into it, and then till three thirty. <laughs> At eleven, was she like, "Hey, what's the deal?" Well, she was happy. She liked it. They did a few fun yeah. things, and then she grew up all at once in one phone call to me because I called her and oh, said, uh, "How was your first long day?" And she always just says, "Oh, you know, fun." Nothing. Yeah. She says, "I don't like lunch and I don't like recess." <laughs> wow. And I go, "Why?" Well, at lunch the teacher's not there. I'm just at a table, and which imagine that. And then she goes, and at recess, all the kids I know run away and play, and I don't know where they go. Oh. And then I just walk around and watch other kids play, and I don't. And then I get sad. Oh, and that is the saddest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in oh. my life. Oh, my heart broken too. I wanted to kill myself. Why? Should have. 
She just now she likes it. She had a few days and she found it. She I said to her, people? "Go up to a kid." I was having trouble and with it. Punch him because <laughs> she's having memories that I remember now. Oh, like up until now, when she was, you know, when they're three, you're like, so what? She won't remember this, you know. They I'll do. punch her in the face. It doesn't matter. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna wipe the hard drive in a minute. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It starts recording at five. Yeah, at five you press uh, record. Yeah. You know, you make a really good point. It's really I don't remember weird. anything before kindergarten. No, they had it, nothing. Nothing mattered. But now uh, she's going to have real memories. But so I said to her, try going up to one of the kids before recess. Cause mm. Recess is crazy. Nobody's going to listen to you. Right. <laughs> Go up to a kid screaming. earlier in the day and say, can you tell me where you're going to play later so I can be there? And I realized I'm doing what my dad used to give me way too grown up. This is like office politics advice I'm giving <laughs> yeah. her. She's in kindergarten. She's going to go, excuse me, um, Tiana. Um, could you let me know where you guys are planning to play so that Later. I can uh, interface with you? Because <laughs> when I got I got beat up in school, and my dad told made me memorize a speech that I was supposed to give to the kids that used to pick on me. Wow! What was how many, what was it, it was a whole thing of you must respect me as your equal. <laughs> oh, I am God. not. That here must have for worked you. really well. <laughs> you know, speech- I have I have a right to my own integrity as a person, and I, he made me memorize it and say it back to him. A bunch of times. Who's your father? The president? That's like a presidential <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, my dad's out of his mind. Did it? Mexican. Did it work at all? I didn't do it. Oh, I okay. it. <laughs> then it just became I have to make my dad happy that he that I'm going to say this. I thought perhaps, but no. I'll never say it. I am. I. I am owed my own space, my own dignity, yeah, just as you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. God! Stop! Punch, oh. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that's terrible. We got to end this side of the show. Oh, I, I I wanted to get into that a little more. That's Sorry. that's horrible. Well, you know, for next time. Oh, but she's making friends now. Like she is. She's making friends. She found okay, a friend good. and they play some hula hoop game. Yeah. Unfortunately, today is. I think um, she's now shunning other kids. Oh really? Yeah, I think she as is. long as she does it on her own accord, that's fine. Yeah. But if she's looking to play and the kids like run away and she's alone somewhere, that is heartbreaking. That is all. really sad for a five year old. Oh, and and unfortunately for her today is um, show off your backpack and water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> We'll someone's like Pat. Do- <laughs> someone's saying Pat Dovey doesn't give a ass. He's probably getting a Hello Kitty tattoo as we speak. <laughs> <He's> probably <laughs> right. Uh, plugs, Lynch. You got anything besides the big show? Uh, my space has all my tour dates. I'm leaving uh, tomorrow to start in Boston and finish up this weekend in Camden with you guys, and uh, then I'm hitting the road. Virginia and DC, and yeah, just go to MySpace. Stephen Lynch. Stephen Lynch on MySpace. Lou, I'm in Orlando at the Hard Rock uh, this Friday. And my tour is all over the country on MySpace also. And both these guys will be at our show on Saturday in Camden. And I think it's still yeah. available. Jimmy. I plug superdeluxe.com because me and Florentine did those uh, things on it, like newscasters. And, you know, check it out. I hope you like it. All right. Tomorrow we'll be live from Philly. For everybody in the Philly area, just keep listening to YSP for all the details. Make it easy for everybody, right? Right. All right. You. If you're not joining us over at XM, have a great day. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. The Opie and Anthony Show is returning. Hello. Sans Opie and Anthony. <clears throat> I'm Opie. No, I want to be Opie. All right, you're Opie. All right, you could be. You have red hair. You be Opie. Yeah, I'm Opie. I blow it. I already said they're not here. Fuck. But no, none of our listeners know what Sans means. <laughs> no. Oh, Anthony's here. Good. Oh, there he is. I'm so happy. Oh, there they are. They're back. Louis was settling into Anthony's chair, <laughs> yeah, and we Anthony marched right back in. Play at least one they sound effect. They told us we had to host the show. Damn. Hope's going to the toilet to relax for a few minutes. And uh, we were doing a little production. Louis just straightened his back and got ready to enjoy that scene. I know. Well, uh, I know. <laughs> we already did the real show. This is the uh, who gives. Ah, this is the phoned it in part. Everyone knows. This is the already been paid show. Yeah. I will say I love uh, Free FM, but I uh, I always have more fun here. Uh, say what I want to say. Yes. Mm. Mm. But take advantage. We don't have bosses for at least another. And yeah, no bosses yeah. or anything. This is where it, it would take a while for them to prove that this show sucks. Yeah. Like on real yep. radio, it's the advertisers call the next five minutes and say, we didn't like that. Didn't like it. There's a problem. We get called in for a meeting or something like yeah. that. But we- they'd have to be like three months later, Jesus, nobody's subscribing anymore. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> we, we noticed like six months ago there was might have been a problem. Yeah, everything's very retroactive on this side. Yeah. I think for Louis' birthday, can we please get someone to suck his dick? 
Wow. Please. Jimmy, oh. if you're uh, if you're up for it, Money's suck his dick. He wouldn't, I'm not saying Lou would stray. He probably wouldn't. But he, it was mm. just the idea that somebody would offer to suck it would make him happy. Ah. Uh, if there was somebody that would suck my dick, that would be a nice birthday present. Just the like, idea. Of it. It's just the conceptual birthday present. <laughs> yeah. Not to get my dick sucked, but that there's somebody who would. Who honestly would. Yeah. Like yes. a girl who would say, look, I'll, I'll suck it for you right now. And you'd go, like, I can't. Go, I can't, but that was nice. And then you'd just go and scrap thinking of her offer. Exactly. Which is very nice. <laughs> and then I'd get really weird in my head about it. And then, uh, like, oh, I really want her to suck it, but I am married. And then and then I'd follow her home and hit her in the head in an alley or something. <laughs> you'd have to. Fuck her dead mouth. <laughs> and that would be my only way of dealing with it. Kind of like fucking, kind of like fucking, like uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Amon Gert, and his uh, Jewish uh, house girl. Like he mm -hmm. liked her, and he's walking around, but he's getting angrier and angrier yeah. because he likes her, and that's kind of what that is. That's what happens when you try to remain honest Hardener. or do something that's moral, mm -hmm. it, and it ends up in you killing somebody and fucking their dead mouth. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> I mean, that's been my experience. <laughs> Even in business situations. Yes. Ask Oscar Schindler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. He probably raped a lot of those Jewish girls. <laughs> you th don't you think? Jesus. On on this Rosh Hashanah, you're going to make jokes like that? I'm not joking. My I'm, good, I'm not joking. I'm completely serious. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm, I'm essential to the war effort. One-armed guy shoveling snow. God, I love his soul. <laughs> In that movie, there's a scene where he's uh, he has to get a, pick a secretary. So he's got these girls all interviewing, and they're all so cute. And it's a funny scene yeah. of him going, like, which girl will I pick and flirt with all the time? Yeah, there's, yeah. But there's this underlying joke of, like, and the rest will die in a gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> like, tee-hee. I hope that... you have nice tits so that they won't be sewn to your sister's face, and then you get, <laughs> and then what? You get burned. What movie was that? Schindler's List. Oh yeah, yeah when, Schindler's List. Okay. Picking secretary, and then he wind up going with, uh, with uh, what's that cunt face? His name who blew us off, <laughs> Ben something. Ben. Kingsley. Ben oh Ben Kingsley. Kingsley. Oh Ben Kingsley. Wonderful actor though. Fair, yeah, fair, fair. Thanks. No. Thanks for nothing. As a person, he's a cunt face bag of shit. But as an actor, he is. Yeah, but every part he plays, it's just like if Gandhi did this, or if yeah, Gandhi, <laughs> yeah. If Gandhi worked for Oscar Schindler, <laughs> or if Gandhi was a mobster from England. Gandhi's a businessman. Yeah. It's like if Gandhi was an actor. Because he's, he's Gandhi. more Gandhi yeah. than he is. He's, Who he is, yeah. yeah. That's just it. It's his persona now. <laughs> yeah. Gandhi played chess. Yeah, Bobby Fischer. Exactly. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I remember that one. That was a good one. Searching for Bobby Fischer. Yeah. Why would I watch that? It's a great movie. You play chess. Yeah, I don't. Why, but Larry Fishburne, Joe, Joe Montana. You know? I don't care who's in it. It's a chess movie. But it's not. It's about How human exciting spirit. could that be? It's right. very There's no. A scene where Ben Kingsley's telling the kid to try to find a move on a chessboard. Yeah. And then he, the kid can't find it, so he swipes away all the pieces. Wow. All right. I might have to says, see that now. Now, now find now it. Now see it. And that's how those and the guys kid see the chess. And the kid is able to see it then when no pieces were there. Yeah. <laughs> those guys. Isn't that exciting? Gets the shit. But no. You yeah, and Larry Fishburne is the streetwise. Yeah, he's uh, the one. you got to Washington come and get Park. my king. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 trying to teach him like yeah, yeah. in street, street, street lingo. Way of chess. Yeah, right. What chess, chess is like? Shut the fuck no, up. No, he's watching the go. Oh, I bring hate out, bring that. Bring out the queen, kid. Listen, bring out the yo, king. Yo, man, it's I'm true. the king. This is my this is my turf. You got to come and get my king. Oh, oh, oh wow. shut up! It's chess. Listen, <laughs> those guys in Washington Square Park, those homeless guys, a lot of them are playing for food and booze. They are like master level players. They're bums. Really? Yeah. They're very Grandmasters, when they come to, to the city, will a lot of times go to the park and play those and, guys. And play those guys because they're animals. Like, you're playing two And piss games. themselves. Well, they're very. They, but we'll shoot their pants. That's the difference. <laughs> they Bobby their Fisher pants. flew first class. Hey, the Jews flew first class. Yeah. And they shit their pants. If one of them is missing a pawn, they could just reach in and pull a nugget of shit out of their <laughs> underwear and plop it down. They, they do that in Harvard Square, too, in Boston. Yeah, yeah, Same thing. Players, These man. guys look homeless, but they mm -hmm. can kick your ass a lot in of chest. Them drunks. And fucking, they play and they taunt you. Like they talk a lot of shit, but you, like you move a piece. There's and... chess smack that they're talking. Oh, boom, boom, boom. No, it they're turns into fights sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Really? The guy gets up from the table and starts yelling. And... Chess fight. Dude, they're geniuses. These guys are geniuses. They're just drunks and they're crazy, but they're brilliant. I went to the chess shop in the village once. No, you didn't. 
<laughs> chess shop. Yeah, it's a place where like you have yeah, people from uh, many times. Eastern Europe go and they play chess and oh, drink okay. bad coffee. And suck each other's dicks. <laughs> back Boy, oh. dicks. No. <laughs> That's right. Boy. I used to go in there and try, but they don't even play you if you. They could just see on my face that I sucked, and they wouldn't. Really? They wouldn't even acknowledge you as a chess player. They wouldn't let, no. But then finally, what's the point, chess look where they know? Yeah, how do they know you're going to be good? This is wise and old, bitter. They're really bitter, negative people. Yeah. But this dude from Czechoslovakia agreed to play with me because he was bored and we're playing a game and we're playing speed chess with a clock yep. so it's like move slam move slam move slam and we're going back and forth and all of a sudden he goes and then he doesn't and i do make a move and then he doesn't move and he's taking a long time and i think i got i did something wow you're like yeah Damn. Where i was sitting there it's taking a really long time and i'm like i got this dude stumped he doesn't know oh, what to shit. do and more and more time goes by and then finally he goes move it's your move god damn it <laughs> and i just fucked up it was my move <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sitting there thinking that like this is your move god damn it he hated like, me you and then you... i moved and he finished me off in three moves <laughs> you were probably flustered <laughs> you by thought you unlocked anyway. the key to this whole formula and exactly. just really stumped this guy. That could be the most exciting chess story I ever heard. Yeah. And I'm being absolutely serious. <laughs> hey, why don't we take your like chess? I was interested in that. Yeah. We'll take your chess stories. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Who's got a chess great story chess Wednesday. Story. If you read about Fisher Spassky in 1972, because the Russians uh -huh. own chess. Yeah. Owned it, world championship, fucking Bobby Fischer, how he he fucking, I think, forfeited the first game, and the, yeah. the championship match against the world champion. And, and that gave us uh, Moscow, and we were able to then own uh, the Soviet Union after that. Yeah, they owned Oh, that's right. It didn't make a shit bit of difference. It <laughs> wasn't important they own, during the they Cold own chess, War. But they don't Who own, cared? They, they own chess, but they don't own uh, blue jeans. But it was the, yeah. I'd rather own the Was blue that jeans. the day before or after we were going to the moon again? <laughs> I'm trying to remember that, was, that when people were like playing chess. Were we go, did we go to the moon the, before or, or just after that for the Wait, third or the fourth time? The Russians are going time? to the moon, right? I heard. Yeah, a little behind. Yeah, yeah they're cool. go, they're gonna give that a whirl. Good luck to you. I, I think <laughs> that poor bastard's just going to be this skeleton, either <laughs> sitting on the moon or orbiting around a happy Russian cosmonaut, just sitting there, a skeleton well, in a was capsule. That's the great thing if you ever really hear about their space program. The difference, we got there because we were so determined and united and stuff. Yeah. They got there because they have no regard for human uh, yeah. life. Just, it it's was like, like oh. Hundreds and hundreds of dudes died. Yeah. They're still floating around in capsules. Hell yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah and we had, we had, our space program was pretty much like we're not putting a human being on top of this fucking missile, this yeah. explosive. Yeah. It's just, it's not going to happen until we know there's a good chance that he's going to get into orbit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Russians, the Reds, uh, put a man in orbit first. Because they didn't give a shit <laughs> if Stanislav fucking yeah. burnt up. They had an explosion in their space program that fucking wiped out so many people. Mm -hmm. And and the bunker system that was supposed to protect them, yep. they were wiped out. Yep. That's how big this explosion was. They didn't give a shit. No, they, they have keep guys going. up there no. around, Lou? Yeah, I want to get I'm, back into that. I'm kind of making it's that like up. Pla <laughs> you know what it is, though? Things are so classic. Could be. Their space program is so classified. They have had some, you know, deaths in their in their space program. A bunch. So have we. But I mean, I would not doubt for a second there isn't some fucking something that ends with S K I on the uniform wrapped around a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is. This guy kind of hands on the controls, just well, cause zipping when we, around. When one of our pilots, that one of our astronauts die, they're heroes, and it's a whole. They stop the space program for a few years. Yeah, yeah, years. There's a whole of funeral investigations at the, at and Arlington Cemetery. One of their guys died. They just announced Sunday. He, uh, comrade, the, the Stosky fell on a pillow, and he's fine. Yes, it was glorious. Return to yes. Mother of Russia, where he has now uh, been given the large piece of land to work the farm as his own. Yes. And meanwhile, he's uh, fucking dead. They killed his family so they don't spill the beans. <laughs> and they turn, to, they turn to the next cosmonaut and go, "It's your turn, goddamn it! Yes. It's your turn, <laughs> yeah. you get in, you get, faggot. Get there. What are you waiting for?" <laughs> hey, we got to go to Drudge. By the way, uh, speaking of Russia, I don't think they have a government anymore. <laughs> what happened? Well, I think they dissolved their government over. Night. Well, the prime minister fucking. Uh, What's resigned. going on? Well, prime minister resigned, and, it, and it's actually over uh, chess. 
There was a <laughs> you, for a second I looked at Jimmy's eyes like, Oh my god, if this is true, I am so no, no, fucked. Awesome. The Prime Minister did resign, I don't know why. How about Putin put Putin whatever Putin. Putin Putin dissolves the uh, Russian government. Yeah, no, this is Putin. He it's did. not it's not them having no government, it's him taking he's taking over everything. You know something? Putin is going back to the Soviet Union. To the thing. Soviet Union. Yeah, he he started uh yeah. getting the uh the he's got the bombers up again. They got new, a new missile system yep. that he's developing. They got new nukes. He's got those those bomber planes. He's got the bombers that are now Back being tailed up. by uh, England's uh, planes. And if they Wait. start cruising around Alaska again, we're gonna have to send Wait, our guys we're, up. We're here. going to have to repoint. You know, our missiles are pointed away from. I know. Uh, now to bring back Russia, Russia as we know it. I hope so. Uh, so that's look, what he said. So th they look at this like we look at radio stations, like they knew that uh, Free FM was a bad idea and they're yeah, bringing so, back to yeah. rock. They're consolidating. They're going back to rock. Is that what's yes. going on? This is like radio stations. They doing. decided, ah, that yeah. format sucked. Let's go back to what we know. We uh, go yeah. back rock. to rock. Radio Rocky. chick was nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> bullshit. No one wants to listen to the talk radio. Oh, Nick DiPaolo, good, you know, but they can't just build we up. We like, but they uh, had to kill. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Can only be one show in charge. Welcome back, Soviet Union. Welcome back. Welcome back. The rest of the world has been a bunch of cocksuckers ever since they dissolved. Treated the United States like shit. Yeah. Because hey, we were the ones that got rid of the other bad boy on the block. Now we have need, fun. We need the Soviet Union right yeah. now. We absolutely do. Because we do. they need to fight the Arabs for us. Yes. They're the ones who killed Hitler. We did not beat Hitler. I mean, Let me the tell whole you something. world couldn't beat Hitler, and Russia did it because same reason they won the space program. So they because not... they were willing to walk. Mil they lost Millions. way more dudes than anybody else. Just because they did they that like doesn't mean people. that they're uh, you know that they're uh, all bad. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying is that now they're going to use their crazy life doesn't matter mentality to kill the Muslims you while know. we sit back and uh, get the praise. Yeah, I, th I think we got to play. I was beaten anyway. Yeah, just let him friggin' you know. Yeah, hang out in his bunker. I think we got to play a sting. Put him on today. display. That's what they wanted to do, but Hitler said no. I'm poisoning myself and then burn me. Would... I shan't be in some Russian museum. No, no, that but... sucks. It would have been awesome. Oh, imagine European seeing the Hitler body. stuffed Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Lenin. I've been to Moscow. I saw Lenin. You saw the stuffed Lenin? Yeah. How's how does he look? Freakiest thing you ever saw. How does he look? He is like a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's all spread out. Is he? Is his he body, flattening out? His body is flattening out. Oh, it's oh fucked up. God. The only things they're working on is the head and hands. That's all they want to preserve? The hands are kind of st stuck out like Mickey Mouse's hands, <laughs> and they're gray. <laughs> and his head is, he's laying back on this red pillow. Yeah. And he has this, ang that sleeping really hard sleep, like he's having a bad dream forever. <laughs> <laughs> like his eyebrows are furrowed. <laughs> and he just looks upset. Yeah. And you go in there, it's really fucking weird because you go in and it's all red lighting. The whole sure. tomb. And you go down and there's soldiers every couple of feet who tell you to keep your hands out of your pockets. And to be <clears throat> respectful and you can't take a picture. And oh, you, you can't keep, take a picture. Yeah, you got to keep moving, too. <laughs> like, smile. Yeah. <laughs> put, your, put your arm around the glass <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, and... yeah, you can't. <laughs> Why no pocket? And he's this, because it's disrespectful to, like, have your hands. You have to w walk very formally. And, uh, so you and can't put your dick on his lip. And you can't, 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 can't take can't. pictures of it. You can't. Hey, hey, Why go? Yeah, exactly. Why go? <laughs> and he's in this glass case with these red jewels on it. It's really strange. And then you go and you realize there's a huge line all day, every day. And wow. we're all just there to see a dead guy. That's what you realize. When it's you get not there. like, this wow, this is Lenin, this no, is history, was, this oh, is communist. It's just, I want to see a dead guy and what he looks like after so long. Yeah. <laughs> and they still preserve, like, the whole red commie thing, even though they were sure. pretty much not for that anymore. Well, good thing. No. Now that they're coming back, well, they're coming yeah, exactly. back with a they vengeance. Don't have to change the lighting scheme. Yeah, anywhere. that's yeah. it, yeah. coming back. Yeah, you don't. You don't even have to change the logo. No, nope. logo's no. still there. <laughs> Good. Awful, awful me from Whack Bag. Sweet Russian wrestling vill villains again. Oh, yep. Yeah. Bring awesome. back the Russian wrestling I villains. Hope. Yeah, so Rocky, the, Rocky can fight another Russian now. There you go. <laughs> so the rest of the this goddamn world can look and say, "Oh my God." With all the United States, could please, could you protect yes. us against these? Remember when you used to put missiles in our countries and you'd, you'd station troops to keep uh, the Russians please. from coming? Could you please come back and do that again? <laughs> oh, what? The scumbags of the world? Us? That does uh, show our force everywhere? Ooh, go fuck you. Deal with it yourself now. Watch him just get fucking goose stepped over by those guys. Oh, yeah. Is the Russian army, you think, going to be bigger than the French army? 
the Russians could fucking kill the French without with guns. like three soldiers. Yeah. yeah, they could just roll up their sleeves. And... <laughs> that crying French guy when the Nazis are coming in. Uh, uh, That's the definitive picture to me of France till today. I don't even mean historically. That that old French guy just going. <laughs> 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 Well, the Nazis are just like goose stepping uh, their way into uh, Paris. Uh, pick up a gun, faggot! <laughs> Guy's crying with a baguette in his hand and his stupid beret. Wow! <laughs> oh, good. I welcome you, Soviet Union. Please come back. What do we get to bring back? Because Russia's coming back. Dolph runs. What else? We get Dolph. All right, that's good. Dolph gets a sure. career again. Those Chechnyans are gonna have to keep their fucking ass in line yeah, now they too. Better shut the fuck up. I, I, no I, more busting into schools with explosives. I interrupted your rant before, but I'm thinking we should, you know, play a sting song today. He was all about singing about the the ugly Russians. Two words. Huh. Yakov Shmirnov. Ah, <laughs> there we go. He's got it back. What a, country. what a country. You know, in New Soviet Union, they rip your tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what thing. I opened for him once. Some uh, so uh, did you? I opened for him. Hopefully, after. his head. <laughs> I opened for him in the nineties after it had come down and everything. Oh, what was his act? Just uh, my wife is crazy. She's nuts. Like it was all just wife and kids. Stuff. Wife and kids. Take my wife. Please? Yes, please. I, Did he have an audience? The, s he Russia. Was like half, it was the DC Improv, and there was like nobody there oh. years ago. They, uh, now we, you know, no more. <sighs> Good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Russia. Uh, Russians. I don't know if this is the song. I remember it was ominous back in the day. Was it? Yeah, this might be it. With the yeah, I see. Oh boy! So that's Malcolm what ended Children. the Cold, that's what ended that the Cold anyway. War, right? That song. Yeah. yeah, that's what did it. That yeah. song and chess. Because everybody yeah. heard it and said, "Oh, oh boy, we got to protect the children." <laughs> yeah, and ideology <laughs> rhymes with the other things. Uh, biology. biology. <laughs> yeah, so. Was it biology? Yeah. Oh, I like that song. That's the same that. rhyme. Don't off your iPod, there, Jimmy. Oh, piece of shit song. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What did he do? Uh, Putin dissolved a Russian's government. Yep. Good boy. Uh, the. Uh, the solution is expected to result in a new prime minister who will be seen as Putin's choice to succeed him after he steps down. That's what folks just like what Hitler did. It's exactly yeah, the same yeah. thing. So, so he's like supposed to step down or, you know, his term is up or whatever the hell it is. So instead of just letting this election process go, he dissolves the government and says, ah, I'll put this guy he in charge. He didn't want to deal with that. He, he didn't yeah. want to deal with that yeah. pesky election. Yeah, that dumb election. This is stuff. what what Hitler did. The, his the way he took power is fascinating because it was like a system just like ours. It was yeah. a parliamentary system, not like mm -hmm. ours. Like, and he just used politics to get himself made yeah. pure. Like he used, he got enough guys in his party, and they kept walking out on every vote <laughs> so that they had a non-functioning government, and they couldn't pass anything because you needed a certain, you know, it's like you need two thirds or something. Mm -hmm. So he just kept doing all these weird little games, and people had to do a little more and more, and he got more and more seats. And then weird little games too uh, amounted to a few brown shirts beating the shit out of everybody <laughs> yes. that was voting yes. against who he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> That would be great if they still did Putin that is the Sith Lord. Holy shit! Earth. Just found that out. Ru oh, also, Russia tests super strength bomb is also on a drudge <laughs> what, because what can you call a super strength? <laughs> well, the, I know what it, we well, have it's a like big round black bomb well, with a wick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're calling that because it's the most These, powerful non nuke bomb. This bomb will completely make your face all black and your hair grow up. <laughs> Your head will I will hide funny. it in a box with a ribbon and a bow on it, and yes. then you open it up. Some will be put in cigars, <laughs> which will peel back like banana. And your eyes will go googly, <laughs> and your teeth will be all knocked out. We have to, uh, we'll still work on it, because all it takes is a few shakes of head, and you're back to normal. <laughs> uh, the father of all bombs is what they're calling it. Well, it can't be that if it's new. It'd yeah, have to be I, an old bomb. <laughs> Russia has tested the world's most powerful vacuum bomb, which unleashes a destructive shockwave with the power of a nuclear blast. It's the father of all bombs. It's the latest in the new series of Russian weapons. Yep, they got all new weapons now. Yep. They uh, use it in, uh, in the Middle East somewhere. How nice would that be? Mm -hmm. Although they're friends with Iran. That's they usually are. Well, yeah. That's what they're waiting for. One of us to, like, uh, decide Iran's uh, doing too much with their... 
with their nuclear program, bomb them, and then North they Korea, step in. Russia, and Iran. Yeah, it's like you know, it's a nightmare. Nice axis <laughs> of evil. It's a nightmare. Nice axis of so- evil. It's a good yeah. solid team. Yeah. yeah, just put the shades down and hope nothing happens outside your window. Yeah. It would be great if the access of evil had made a press conference like with the logo, like they said, "Oh, we're doing, we're taking up yeah. the name, and we are." The, there it is. The access of evil. <laughs> there, the access of evil. <laughs> you, see, you see their newest whatever Russia just signed. Basically, the access of evil just signed Russia. <laughs> yeah. So Putin shows up with a jersey, taking you know kind of a shy oh, smile that's huge. with the jersey, with, with the access of evil hat on. He's got the cap on. Very happy to be uh, with that's the right access of evil. Pick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a new draft pick. Yeah, yeah. King Kim on Jill or whatever his name is has his arm around him. Yeah. Always wanted this uh, again, uh, and, uh, you know, let's go, let's go. I just really hope I can contribute to this ball club, uh, <laughs> and, uh, kill all Americans. And, uh... <laughs> Jerseys and hats made for, <laughs> yeah. for the fans. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right. Much stronger Rookie than card. our bombs. Stop it. Well, good luck, bro, to Russia. Good. Now we get yeah. to build more big, better bombs. Big, better bombs. Hey, Lou's a, a big uh, tech guy, right? You don't. You had the iPhone. Yeah, I got an iPhone. All right, Jimmy. Yeah. I left the i8. I already. Did. I don't pay my bills. They just turned it off. <laughs> Jimmy hates the iPhone <laughs> and loves the iPhone. Where are you in the I middle? Hate you hate it too. And Louis a Mac. He got me into Mac. Yeah, Louis's a Mac guy. Louis you know what? I I like the iPhone. I like it. You don't love it. I don't love it. You did. There the are many I things. From having a BlackBerry and it doesn't do what a BlackBerry does. See, I didn't have a BlackBerry. I can't yeah. stand the phone. A right BlackBerry. Now. This is the <laughs> easiest thing I've texted on, though. Which goes to tell you. <laughs> that will make me a BlackBerry. Laugh. Black BlackBerry. 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 I've. Uh, <laughs> I, I. I. I don't. I like the texting on it. I really do. You like to type it on the fucking on the touch screen. Glass? It's better than That'd fucking be typing three like. Because I usually just get like a flip phone, and oh, then yeah. no. for A or B, like C, tap, 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 I got tap. one, two, three. Oh, oh, go back. Yeah, that's one, what BlackBerry's been there for like fucking ten years now. It's great. Yeah, but they're too big, and you. Yeah, I like. And my, then, and then my wife has big. a phone. There's no cover on the fucking thing. I'm spitting. Mm. My wife no has cover. a phone that's not a PDA. Yeah, it's just a just cell phone, phone. But it has the whole has a uh, keyboard. Keyboard. keyboard on. Yeah. And th- those are the uh, ideal because they don't crash. They yeah. don't drop C. You know, you don't have too much information on it. Just I think they the second or third generation iPhone, iPhone has a huge amount of good, but... limitations that are stupid. That yeah. shouldn't. They shouldn't yeah. have. Well, he could have had can't faster search web your browsing. emails. I know. You can't search your emails. You can't cut like a paste and cut your emails. You can't no. copy a piece from one email and put it in another. That is annoying. It's crazy. You yeah. can't. You can't type like if you turn it sideways, the keyboard will go sideways, but only when you're web browsing. Yeah, you, you can't, can't do it in email. mail. You can't turn an email sideways, which is the only time you'd ever really want to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, it it's really dumb. And then they made no, these new no iPods. Picture texting. These new iPods that you can use the wireless to get uh, music off mm-hmm. of iTunes. There's no reason the iPhone can't do that. It's the ex- exact same hardware. Same thing that they're using. They just took the phone feature That's out That's all of it. it is. IPo- iPod and an iPhone now is the exact same stuff with just different shit turned on or off. So why the fuck can't I like download shit onto my uh, because iPhone? Because uh, Steve Jobs is a cunt. I, yeah. Have I not been saying That's that? Why. Yes, He's you have. <laughs> I have been saying in those words that he is a cunt. He's a cunt. He has he made four things now that you have to yeah. buy all of them. There's a Nano, a classic iPod iPod, an iPod yeah. video, and an iPhone, and they all, none of them all do it's one thing. Motherfucker. You have to buy all four of them to make, and, and, and he carry could have made them all them. do the same thing. All in one thing, they could have done Asshole. that. You know what, I got my uh, my bill from AT&T, because of yep. course that's the only company that you can use uh, with the iPhone. Yep. I got my bill. Um, I, 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 I happen to be in the Bahamas for a week. Mm-hmm. And I know I, what happened. I know what I, happened. Yes, of course you do. It was getting your, your junk emails. By the way, there's no email right. filter. No filter. So it gets your junk emails, and you got what? A two, I got a two thousand dollar phone bill for one week in Montreal. Two thousand. Yeah. Okay. No, not even close. Good. 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 No, no. I mean, you got way over me. So how the fuck? Oh, mine was five hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, how the fuck do they get away with that? There's class action suit. They won't. I don't think. Well, I could have called and complained, but it's too late now. Because add to that that I'm a lazy. Un- so it's just I, like don't, idiot. But so you just didn't pay. This woman, and, this woman said, but they're counting on people to be lazy and not fight this shit. And yes, they go, are. And Wait, they're me. like, oh, fuck, I'll just uh, write the check. That's it. it. That's what I did. Yeah, I had to. And I, I, I actually, no, I, no, I forced rating. that. I didn't pay it. And they turned off the phone, and now yeah, that's they, uh, wonderful. They, they got a collection agency. That's so <laughs> wonderful. They are fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> For How something many you had no idea about. Because of that? Yeah. 
For something you had no idea about. I, I really suck. didn't have any idea about that roaming thing. I know I've had phones that roam. This is my first fucking cell phone. When I go uh, uh, overseas and I see uh, that it's roaming, it, I'll turn off roaming unless i got to make a call or check yep. my email. And then there was no way to turn that on and off where you're... Wow. You're not getting fucked from, for they, data they transfer. Brag that it's a complete version of OS 10 or whatever. It's not. It's, no. It's uh, it doesn't have a. Uh, you can't store any any stuff on it. You can't. You nope. can't like get a file. You can't. A million things that you can do with uh, BlackBerry. You can't. Like you can use a, a Verizon cell phone to to get on the internet with your computer with mm -hmm. your with your Mac. It's the it's very hard to find a phone that'll do that. Finally, Mac makes a fucking phone. You can't use it as a modem. No, you can't do it. The high their, their internet speed stinks. They could have had yeah. a faster one. They, they went with the slower hey, ones. That's yeah. awful. Let's, I agree. Let's uh, go to Jeff. And Louie got me into Mac, so he fucking. Yeah. I still the computer. No, he fucked great. you. Is what you say? Yeah, are great. I love the computers. Yeah. 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 Hey Jeff, what's up? Phones kind of uh, pissing me phone, off. Guys. Hey. Oh. Well, I and I don't like the non-video. Yeah, I, I, I get no video. Yeah. Oh, hold on, Can't Jeff. Go ahead. Text. Go ahead, Jeff. No, you guys are talking about what a cunt Steve Jobs is. Of course he's a cunt. Bill Gates fucked him so hard back in the day. He will never let it happen again. Never. He's going to lock Make, everything sir. down. You're going to buy everything from him if you want it all to work together. Well, he should have been a little bit better with licensing his stuff, and he would have had it into more computers. That, that's yeah, he also he thing. could have he could have mm. let people make Mac clones, and he, everything would have been different. He's a, he's a dumbass. He is a dope. I met him once. I I I went. I was in a store buying the the new twelve inch when they first came out with that twelve inch uh, al uh, aluminum book, and I went I, I went to the first store that had it in the world. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> obsessed. Yeah. And I found out they had one in Sacramento, and I drove out to Sacramento from L.A. to, to look at this thing, and uh, it was shitty. I didn't like it. Oh, wow. And he came to the store because he was there to oversee all the new displays. How disappointing stuff. after driving all the fucking way yeah. there. So I went up to him, and like he had a crowd of people around him, and he's you know he's like God to them. And I just walk up and I said, "Hey, this is a pretty disappointing product." <laughs> oh no, you were that everybody guy. Everybody around him goes, "Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa hey, and like no, hey. don't talk to him that way." And I'm like, "I don't work for him. What is he going to fire me?" <laughs> and he goes, "What are you talking about?" And I said, "It's not. It's. It, I'm really disappointed." And he goes, "Ah, you don't know what you, you're talking about." I go, "Well, no, I'm, no, I, I, I kind of do." I drove here like a few hours to buy this, and I don't. I don't like it. I mean, I'm just looking at it, and it does. It just <laughs> doesn't seem shit. that nice. <laughs> And he goes, well, uh, I could have I could have charged you two hundred dollars more and made it better. And I was like, I would have paid it. <laughs> yeah, it's not about money. It sucks. Yeah, it's just not that great. And he goes, ah, well, buy buy the fifteen inch one. I'm like, I will because I need the thing. But it's just too. I'm just telling you, it's just too bad. You could have done a better <laughs> machine. And the people around him were just so fucking bummed. Oh. Well, he's probably one of those guys that that is too. You know, he's a brilliant guy. Obviously, but he probably doesn't listen to stuff like that. And uh, it's it's hurt him financially. It's stupid. Yeah, it's, the iPhone could have been amazing. Yeah, I, but, but he, I, I he wanted stuff off on purpose. And that exactly. Was... I wanted everything yep. to be on there. I wanted it to have video. I wanted it to have uh, uh, the ability to text um, pictures. Like when I send a text me a message, I want to attach a picture to it. Yeah, you know, you... can't do that. No, can't when get you want, pictures. When you try to find like if you're in an email and you start writing an email to somebody, you start writing their name and it finds the name. Yeah, like right. the way you should. But if you're fo calling somebody, it doesn't fucking do that. You have no. to scroll through those tiny the little letters, letters on the side. You got to scroll through. If you have fifty people with the first letter A, you got to scroll through all yep. that shit. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, you can't and you search. You know that they can if do on it. The YouTube. It's only like a certain percentage of the clips because a bunch of them it won't play. I won't play it. Yeah, I'll, and none of my YouTube clips they play won't show iPhone. up. They don't yeah. show up because they're they they're using a certain flash technology instead mm -hmm. of whatever else. They tried to sell it as if it was like, wow, look at this, you're getting a yeah. computer in your hand as far as the web browsing goes. Nope, hey. just ain't it. Some uh, dog shit sniffer from Woodside. Steve Jobs, what a dumbass. He's only worth half a Bill Gates' fortune. Oh, what? He's rich. He rich. Oh, and then good. Jason, he's got uh, he probably must... ten, twenty thousand dollars in the bank. Perhaps more than that, <laughs> and then you got Jason from Cal Class. <laughs> have it on this one. I'm streaming XM from my iPhone so I can listen to you in class. There isn't much this thing can't do. Yes, except there's a lot of things that can't do. I'll tell you do. what it can't do. Get online in under 45 minutes so I can fucking go to check my AOL mail or something else I want to yeah. check. Or well, look at you Craigslist. being on AOL is fucking sad. I'm a cunt, too. I'm it's not saying sad. I'm not.
I'm not saying I'm not. <laughs> but how about uh, put a little bit more fucking hard drive space on it? He could have done that. He didn't want to. There's no hard drive in it. That's what. Remember, well, before it came out, we were here saying that it's just it's a really good iPod, even if you don't use it as a phone. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's, got a oh, it's not. Space. Regular iPods have 80 gigabytes. Yeah. This has 8 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I put my shows, I, I record every show I do, and I put them on my iPod to listen to. I can fit three hour long <laughs> shows, and it's fucking full. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking faggots. Well, I brought it. <laughs> if you have an iPhone, whoever's listening in class, you're a faggot in your class. Listen in your faggot iPhone. <laughs> fucking shove it up your ass and come out of your dick. <laughs> in your own face. Well, I, I brought up Baguette. the whole iPhone uh, thing to, to lead to a clip from 1967. 1967? Wow. The They're talking born. about the future. The future? The future. What was going to happen in the future? 1967, film called 1999 AD. Wow, that was the future. Which is now, what, eight years ago? Yep. Wow. Which predicts online shopping, banking, and email. No way. 1967, wow. talking about the future. Fingertip shopping will be one of the many homemaker's conveniences. This video console will be channeled into the store of her choice. There, a camera will scan a display of wares, which she will select by push button. She won't have to deal with Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> That's I mean, what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Another part of this console is a household monitor screen, which maintains a watch on critical areas in the house, swimming pool, or yard. I like that. That's what everybody had us. What the wife selects pool. on her console will be paid for by the husband at his counterpart console. All bills and transactions will be carried Can't out. Can't trust her. No. That's right. She'll buy her feminine products, and things to make black eyes go away. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man. <laughs> the husband will pay for herself. We'll pay. Yeah. Don't let her go crazy. Okay. See what happened? They even knew back then. Yeah. So he part of the it? integrated system was that 1967. there's a whole separate console for the husband for the husband to, to watch so like, over that's the, like the pilot seat. Oh my God. And she's just in the co-pilot seat but, oh I want to hear the last God. part you don't want her to you know have oh say of what God. she can buy hold on areas in the house swimming pool or yard what the wife selects on her console will be paid for by the husband at his counterpart console. Oh my God. All bills and transactions will be carried out electronically. Elec electronically. Electronic. That's oh. funny. She can pick out her shit and then the husband goes, no, no, no. no. All right, I'll let you have this. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Her, her, her console is like the little fake steering oh wheel God. that the kid <laughs> pretends to drive. Yeah. Not even exactly, hooked up. Exactly, with a little fake <laughs> rubber horn in the middle. <laughs> Give her a choice. You could either get breath mints or tampons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's good. Isn't that amazing? There's a little more. 1967. 67. Though. The future. 1967. Sounds like it's from the 50s. Yes. Well, this is like the 50s or the... This is the 40s. What, yeah. 40s, sure. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Apparently, music is not going to change at all. <laughs> yes, it'll <laughs> stay exactly the same. <laughs> Benny Goodman will still be a hit in the future. Benny Goodman with his hit, Umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> this will be fantastic in the future. You can be at the office and look in on your wife at home, and we'll have a boxing glove on an accordion. <laughs> and if you want to punch her in the face for not working, just press a button at work. There she goes. Down she goes. <laughs> See her stagger to her feet. Now she's learned a lesson. <laughs> uh, Rich from Manhattan, is this part of the carousel of time in Disney? Please update that effing ride. <laughs> yeah. What's the carousel Spit, no, of time? I don't remember. That, the that, that's at Disneyland. Spaceship Earth is the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. Communication. It started with papyrus. You know, and they show all this stuff, and they're like present day one and now is today, 20 years old. Yeah. A typewriter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they show all this fiber optic stuff and these bloop, 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 spacey noises. Everything will be buttons of different colors <laughs> that flash and don't, e they're not even labeled. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yes. 
flashing lights, fiber optic, and tapes that go back and forth and back and forth for no apparent reason. <laughs> Why is it still the 40s? <laughs> Could at least put on some Jimi Hendrix. It was oh, the 60s. This is the go-to music, though. Yes, right you are for this voice. What? And look around the neighborhood. You won't see any of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're staying in the past. <laughs> yes. We're going to leave them here. The future will be wonderful. Look around your neighborhood. Yes, your daughter Betsy can walk around in safety. <laughs> you had the iPhone. They had the rotary phone. <laughs> Isn't the future great? The future. Uh, we have more audio from 1967. A central bank computer will debit the family's account the amount of purchases and credit the department store. For they were talking about online fucking banking yeah, in 1967? Yeah, pr pretty much that it. Was. Wow. They just thought it was uh, video. That's all. They thought it was like video cameras pointing at. Yeah, the you'd product. have to actually look at something live. They thought from it was a live all video feed. surveillance being integrated. They couldn't yeah. figure out that, it, that you could do it a lot easier with just pictures. Just capture yeah. a digital picture. Right. Or, yeah, GIFs. They didn't know. Who's gonna be you working know, all is that? Who's gonna be working GIF all these? Is a great cameras. peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> Make a picture of it. You're talking silly. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? Mm. Mm. That's true. Come on, I wanted to hear the rest of, of that. Purchases and credit the department store, for example. Ah, for example. Informing the family's home computer at the same time. Father, at the touch of a button, receives an instantaneous printed copy of his budget, the amount of taxes he owes, the payments left on the car, and so forth. And, and what that pesky cunt spent on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the fact that just Dumbbell does some shopping while the man figures out <laughs> yeah. the final. The guy's got to figure everything out yeah. while stupid's yeah. just pressing yeah. buttons because the pretty dresses were pretty colors. Exactly. <laughs> My wife has an old uh, magazine, a really old magazine, and it's there's an ad for some kind of silk sheets, like some designer sheets. Yeah. And the ad is a cartoon of a woman sitting in bed, a really fancily... And, and the point of the ad is, how are you going to explain to your husband that you bought them? <laughs> That so he won't be mad. Try and they show a guy that. walking in the bedroom with a briefcase, and he looks really he looks mad. pissed. And she has this sheepish smile, and they give her points, like bullet points. Here's How the about things. A blow to, job. Here's the <laughs> things to say to him so he won't beat you. Basically, <laughs> like these are cheaper than other brands. These will last a long time. If you could get it out these of your will, mouth you know. before he cracks you, <laughs> yeah, in exactly. It. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Darker skinned men will slide <laughs> off it, yes. as opposed to being able to violate me. <laughs> and you know his breath just smells like uh, fucking whiskey and martinis. Uh, a cigarette. <laughs> it's all drunk. Fifteen drinks on the fucking metro line train. <laughs> a little observation. Uh, we're trying to find that, and so far we got how to turn a person in bed. <laughs> Be doing that. All right. Agency for replacement. The music gets scary there. Yeah, the server was like fucking my, up. My mother's a computer programmer, and she they installed a new machine called a Sun machine, oh. like this really huge machine <laughs> that they had to put their software on. So they put it in their office and plugged it in, and then two days later there was a guy from UPS saying he had a part for the machine, and nobody ordered it. Oh, shit. And it turns out the machine ran a self-diagnosis. <laughs> oh, my God. Found a faulty part, got into their system, and ordered it through UPS. I summoned Cyberdyne. It summoned the piece to itself, paid for it out of their accounts. It's everything. becoming aware. It's becoming aware. Fucking crazy. Wow. That's they fucked un up. They unplugged it, and they're like, we're <laughs> it's, not... It's fucking machines ordering shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, that well, is too fucked up. Fucking whatever, there's like a... Everybody loves Raymond box set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it starts ordering shit, they're like, no, was, I needed it. Pizzas, you know. <laughs> yeah. Coming to the door. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, listen, we got to take a break. We got Stephen Lynch in the studio. Go to his MySpace uh, MySpace page because he's got tour dates all over the country. Same with Louis C.K. Orlando this uh, Saturday, Friday. Right. Hard Rock. Do you know what I wanted to rock. say? That the computer what? order, but I just didn't have the guts. What? Uh, a freshener for your your mother's chair because her guns stink. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't have the guts. For my mother's <laughs> chair. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. But you didn't have the guts, though. It's the though. first thing it ordered. <laughs> right. It's the first thing it ordered. Too bad. 
that. I even. can't take. I don't have a sense of smell. <laughs> oh, but God. that woman's cunt is disgusting. <laughs> Too bad we, uh, that does not compute. <laughs> Too bad you weren't brave enough to say it, though. No, I would never disrespect. <laughs> right. Yeah, no. Next day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take another day of this. <laughs> oh, <God> damn, Jim. <laughs> I, I just see him giggling over there, and I wonder what he's got in his head. And it's that. I couldn't fire it out fast enough. <laughs> Uh, what is our board op doing on Regis and Kelly, by the way? Isn't that the kid that came in earlier that runs the board for K-Rock? <laughs> yeah, they all look like that. Who is that? Who are those? Oh, the guy in the middle. Who I don't know. They're rocking. Uh, We're going to get some rock and roll on the show today. Oh, wait. Fallout something? Uh, oh, is that Fallout Boy? Didn't we turn, that, turn him down or not? Faggots. Yeah, no. probably. I hate that kind of rock and roll with this. The little wearing hat. He's wearing hat. a quirky hat. Too cool oh, for the room. Oh, he's got sneakers and a hat. Well, that oh, guy dates yeah. Ashley Simpson. And then there's a the, a, the mus, a mus haired uh, Southeast Asian looking kid. Yeah. One of them dates Ashley Simpson. And then the other one looks like a young Anthony Cumia. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. The, the Afro other one, guy. The other one does. The other. The guy in the middle. <laughs> He's the yeah, there, I am. <laughs> there I am in the back. <laughs> there's, a, there's a young Anthony Cumia. <laughs> I'm in the back, just hanging out. <laughs> He looks like Dim from Clockwork Orange. I can't listen to that kind of music because no it's all like 19-year-old kids. Like, what does a 19-year-old kid have to all right, look, what do you like? police say to me? What, yeah. song, what, what new song do you like? I don't like any new song. Why? I, I never don't hear anything. Look at Regis rocking to it. I'm rocking. Oh, he was actually doing a little ba -ba -da -da -da, like a Fredo. Yeah. He was doing the Fredo. With, when he opened the door with Michael. The Fredo skip into Michael's hotel suite <laughs> is the fucking greatest walking moment ever filmed. Hey. It also should be noted that Billy Bob Thornton was on uh, Regis and Kelly today. Yeah. Promoting Mr. Woodcock. Roland, come on in here. I don't we didn't him get him. Doing that show. We like the we like the Stifler guy, but uh, why not right. why not Billy Bob Thornton? Why can't we get a Billy Bob Thornton? Uh, Billy Bob passed on the show. Why would he pass on this Wait, show? Did Billy Bob pass or did the publishers? The rep passed on. Not with the rep. Why are they making the decision? And, wait, Billy, the, the rep passed, and they took Scott and Todd. What? Uh, I don't think he did in studio. What? He still did the phone though. I I don't know. I did. So the rep passed. Well, we, we have somebody that says he did that. Sh oh yeah, we we should. Billy Bob Thorne is a pretty fucked up dude. Why would he? You know. Pass I think he'd have show. a good time on here. We wouldn't yeah. be talking about yeah. stupid stuff. That's what I told the rep. I would just. Who else does the rep? Make him do Anybody sling blade imitations. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe so. Now. You did the boy. Mm. Does any of these reps have people that have multiple people that have canceled on us? I'm sure some of them do. There's only a few of them. Yeah, there's a few that they have. Who's so? Who who's like? Ha, ha, say, you don't have to give the rep's name, but who who's some of the artists that have the, the same rep? Name. The same rep um, that have canceled on us, <sighs> or have fucking lied to us. Ah, uh, tell uh, me, I'll, my job. Uh, fuck no, um, I'm not afraid. Of that. I, uh, no, his job. He's, no, but he's not. He's not. He's not lying. I, uh, You're allowed to say. Uh, it's not a secret. <laughs> I know, but it's just. I, uh, well, who who's had met met? Uh, uh, I, by the way, I contacted Dane because uh, through Bob Kelly because his uh, his publicist passed on the show, and uh, just completely passed on the show. Really? Yeah, the publicist obviously what, to knows. Be on this show? Yeah, he's been on this show before. Yeah, he has. Just it, calls from time to time when he feels like it. What? Yeah. What? Fuck these publicists! I couldn't right agree more. I was I taking a long time more. to contact anyone through Bob Kelly. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it was that you have to get through the event horizon? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Two satellites can't thing. speak around here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to wait until dawn. I went around Bob's other side. It was Michael yeah. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> If you, you actually if experience you loss of him, signal. If you walk around Bob really fast, it's slingshots you. You can go through <laughs> back in time like they did on Star Trek, that movie. You know, I shined a flashlight at Bob. The light did not come back to me. That's right. <laughs> uh, no, I emailed Dane. He's contacting his yeah. rep to ask why. So who else is, uh, who, like, what, 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 what like, like, let's say Dane DeVito was supposed to come in, he never did. The x was supposed to come in, they never did. Uh, uh fucking Terrence Howard was supposed to come in, he canceled. Uh, uh, uh Al Roker, we understood. Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley canceled. So many of them canceled. Jessica Alba. Her people hey. said no. Dane's people said no. So what, wait, but with Dane, why doesn't he just call the show? Oh, he will. I'm sure he will. But he yeah. just I, he thought he knows this. Yeah. He knows this is the place to promote. Yeah, I'm stuff. sure he will. No, I, I emailed Dane, and then he I, didn't who, he didn't know about it, so he's contacting his rap task. So what guests do we have on the way that we have to say yes or no to? Um, I have the list at the office, though. So. Okay. Well, it, do you know any? Uh, off the top, it's like um like some new new shows. I was going to ask you guys. I'm like what? To get what show? Like Chuck. 
It's like the big NBC show. Cool. Who's in Chuck? Uh, Zach Levy. And who's Zach Levy? Just some uh, he was in. He's been in sorry. small God. like parts, but this year. I don't. Uh, well, does he? Uh, he's an awkward kind of. Uh, hey, I, look at me. I'm weird. Oh, that's interesting. I don't yeah. care. I uh, know. No to Zach. Who else? Uh, there's a bionic woman. Oh, that looks, looks awful. Bionic woman. <laughs> Lindsay Wagner? No, no. Lindsay no. Wagner. You're the new what? One. The new I want the old one. I, know. I want to talk to her about the bed with the dial. What's <laughs> the bed with the dial? That she's hawking oh, every two oh, seconds. Oh, oh. Unbelievably uh, sincerely, by the way. Oh, I'm a 32. Shut yeah. up. I thought you were talking about a Bionic Woman episode. The no. Bed with the dial. That yeah. sounds like it could be fun. I don't think I've ever watched a Bionic Woman. No, and they still I, don't answer I'm, the question of if you have bionic legs and you're right, <laughs> you take one step, your whole body will crumble like yeah. jelly. Or you can't pull like some. You can't pull a car back because where your arm It'll meets your your, your fucking, flesh, yeah, some they point. never explain that shit. No, at some point your flesh has to take the tour. Yeah. Oh, oh. By the way, Fallout Stupid. Boys are playing another song, and the bass player must be a little chilly because he put his hood up. Oh my uh, god! That's not so like look oh, cool. Oh, they're doing that thing where they jump around they and they rock. pump the guitar. Look at it. Must be chilly because he's uh, got his hood on. You're fucking 18. You God, got I, nothing to say to me. I hate these. <laughs> I couldn't possibly be interested. All right, in what back you're to the Bionic about. Woman. So, Set what down. was her name in that? Jamie something Summers. Jamie Summers. Jamie Summers. Yeah, I had a crush on her, even though I was. A I little, did too. I had a little. I was a little. Thing. Oh, I, I was a little. She thing. was a motherly looking. I liked her. Matronly. I wanted her. That's never looking. sexy. When that show was on TV, I was just a little thing. And never sexy. I had a crush on an older woman, Jamie Summers. I wanted her to rip my dick off and shove it up her ass. <laughs> 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 never. When I was a kid, I was just, I've said this before, I've never, I never looked at women on television and thought, oh my God, she's hot. Jeannie. No. I liked, not uh, Jeannie. No. I liked Elizabeth nope. Montgomery. She had cans. She was like motherly, though. Yeah, I didn't like those I motherly. Wanted, I wanted to fuck my mother, so. Thing. Oh, okay. Well, I that like, explains it. I like, as long as you. <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> Leslie Ann Warren. <laughs> Who is she again? Big, huge, natural boobies, I think. You like her? Wait, wait. I saw her in a, wait, on an airplane. Wait, I might have admitted a bad one. Wait, who is no, she? No, she like uh, Now, Leslie Durandu. Ann Warren, I saw on a plane. She's the one with the big, huge, natural pants. Yeah, yeah, pants. but she, she ain't no kid anymore. She That's tried out uh, to be Margot Kidder in Superman. Did she? Oh. Yeah. Who is Leslie Ann Warren? What show is she on? We're going to uh, get her. She's in movies and she's shit. She's in everything. She's yeah. got these weird Pop eyes. Pop her picture up there. there. You'll see her. Well, these are older pictures now. Now, give me a boob shot of her. awful hairline she has. What a I saw her in a plane uh, from L.A., and she got on the plane and cracked her fucking head on the overhead. <laughs> really? And the whole flight, she had ice on her head and this big red dot. <laughs> it's like, ah, Leslie and Warren's fucked up. You didn't look at girls that like them on TV, though? No, not older women like that. Uh, girls my age, I looked at. I know which one. Don't like. say it because it's not true, and Christy I'm not. Christy McNichol. I hated oh, Christy I McNichol. Her. No, I hated her. I and had a crush on Christy McNichol. No, I McNichols. didn't. Knew she was a dyke. Her I liked. Who? When she was in um, Mrs. Uh, Eddie Van Halen there. Oh, Valerie. Uh, Valerie uh, Bertinelli I liked on One Day at a Time. Valerie. She was too cutesy. I liked No, her. that's what I liked. Yeah. That's I, what I liked. I loved Christy McNichol. Really? Yeah. Her mullet. Mm. Di bull dyke. Now, why? Because you didn't know any better at the time. I like bull dyke. You didn't know she was a dyke. What, Here we go. Here's the big boobies. Where's that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's Leslie Ann Warren. Okay. Leslie Ann Warren's tits. You can't really see it from there. Yeah. They're a little weird. I wanted to deep dick Isabel Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fuck Wheezy, yeah. Yeah, right in her fucking... <laughs> Wheezy. <laughs> hey, didn't we talk about this? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Florida. All right, yeah, Steve. Florida. I know you were part of that bit. James! <laughs> James! Here she is with her big boobies. Big boobies. Booby oh. chew. Where do you find that? Celebrity skin? That's a, Mr. That's skin. a popular site, yeah. whatever it is. Jesus, she has shitty hair. Old cancer patient hair. <laughs> She's old now, man. Doesn't matter. It's wispy. You no know, kid. There you go. Yeah, I just uh I wasn't into like um like everyone's oh I dream of genie, genie on that mm. thing. No. At at my age, why would I fucking look at that? Mm. It's like my mother's and her friends hanging out. Well, well people look at on that. TV were older than two. Well people yeah. were grown ups on TV. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Now it's all young people. But no, I liked um I liked the little uh uh Barbara Billingsley? The girl from... Yeah, Barbara Billingsley. <laughs> the mother from Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> is that the girl from the Cosby Show? No, who is the one... Uh, shit, I'm trying to remember. Joyce DeWitt. Yeah. No, she was a girl, 
And she was. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> that was good. That's good. That's good so far. That's good. No, she wasn't like a woman. She was a girl, and it wasn't family affair. Though the show wasn't family affair. Jody. Because that was. Moran. No, no, I hated Erin Moran. What? Oh, she just, I hated her. You're too. more a Jenny Piccolo type. No, of guy. I didn't like Jenny Piccolo <laughs> either. Jenny Piccolo. Le leather Tuscadero. No, no leather. I probably you probably would have like Pinky Tuscadero. Thrown leather Pinky. leather around her. Uh, my pinky. I wanted Jenny Pickle. Remember her name? Ass with her nose. She <laughs> had a great fucking nose. <laughs> but how do you know? She was like, uh, they didn't show her until very late in the. Series. I know when they show Richie. Oh, Cullen. the girl from Nanny and the Professor. I liked her. Oh my God. She you was mean the, the nanny. Or the no, girl? not the nanny. The little girl oh. in it. I was a little kid. Who See, when like I was a little kid, I liked little kids like that. My who, same, my old, my same like age. Now? Who do you like now on TV? Uh, I watched Nanny and the Professor reruns. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you liked Kim. Richards? Yeah, I liked Kim Richards. Yuck. Look how cute she was. When I, uh, when I was a kid, I liked cute. Uh, there's her boobies. Look, what? Don't double. you violate my thoughts of little Kim Richards. Let's see her face. Uh, well, oh, her. I nice like there. her a lot. Yeah, she see? had the big eyebrows. Yeah. I dug her. Well, nothing was wrong with her. She was nice. Yeah. 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 Man. Whoa. I like that. Hey, what's that? Well, who do you like from any TV shows now that you want to... Now? Asshole in face. Mm, <laughs> let me think. Who's, who's like, hot now? Uh, there's, like, that... Um, oh, you know who I think uh, isn't too bad looking? Uh, that Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Michelle what? Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> from what? She was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And, uh... But she was also uh, Harriet the Spy on Nickelodeon. Yeah. But way, you know, yeah. years ago. Right. Way. Well, she, and, and then she was in that movie she where she, like, kind of took her top off. Wow. Almost. Oh, what is this? Eurotrip. She was in Eurotrip. Are you handing me an urgent communique? Oh, Hayden Panettiere. Get the fuck out of here, of course. Who's the hottest that? the hottest thing on television right now. She's Who's the that? cheerleader in Heroes. Oh, yeah, she's all right. She's good. All right. Yeah, she's good. That shit is, like... The shit. That shit is dope. And the um, new one from uh, the new uh, freshly nude uh, girl from that High School Musical show. Ah, she's all right. You what think that's all right? Uh, you just hotter don't like her because bush. you see her naked. What's you don't like her, her bush. Veronica Mars, very young looking. No. Too high I, don't like her. I like the other one though. She was from, a booty uh, tang, you know. You don't like her bush? Is that what you said? <laughs> they don't like her bush. I think it's not bad. It's it's natural, but it's, it's not like real thick. It's a bit wide though. Course, they think it's a little too wide. A little but, wide. That's she's good. A bush to she's just some snow eighteen snow. year old from that that show, a uh, uh, High School Musical, and they, well, she was from that. They gave her the boot. <laughs> they booted her in her bare ass. That's what I heard. I thought they fired her. All right, can we take a break now, Roland? Who else are we working on? Uh, I was going to see if you wanted Susie Essman from Curb Your Enthusiasm. No. No. I, I like Susie, uh, but... I like Susie, too. Sarah Silverman's coming up pretty yeah, soon. We'll, we'll Sarah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll take Sarah. Sarah, we have it. But I want to know, just real quick, who's, like, who has... Or, well, name me a couple of artists that had the same rep who have canceled the douche does. I mean, we that's not that hard to find out. I yeah, know. I'll look, because it's, like, mostly like a company, because they have so many different reps working for, like, a BWR or a PMK. So, so all right, so what is... I'm saying, what are a couple of artists that are under the subhead of the same company? <laughs> Mrs. Garrett. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Charlotte Ray? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was hot. She Mrs. Was Garrett. She's what you need to call a three-holer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I just looked that. down and saw her name. Uh, who do you think? I think the same person who does. Uh, I think it's Danny does Billy Bob. The same Shirley person. Jones. So the no. same guy does Billy mm. Bob passed on us. I he like does the daughter Danny. of the Partridge Family so though. She was pretty hot. Shirley Jones played a hooker on uh, Elmer Gantry. That really with uh, Burt, Burt Lancaster, and she's really hot in that. Really, she plays a really gross, sleazy hooker. Wow, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. So hmm. We gotta take a break. The daughter on the Partridge family was like, All right. she was like ten pounds, but well, uh, she was hot good. For them. Crooked teeth. Uh, yeah. Break. So. Yeah. Oh, a break. Right. I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh. Don't do that. All right. I mean, you guys. Can... Well, tease it. No, you guys can continue. <laughs> Don't just do it. You can tease it, the and then toilet. after the break, what? let's share the toilet. The toilet. Yeah. Go share. We're gonna go share the. But toilet. not side by side. One sit down and spread your legs, and yeah. the other one piss between the legs. Yeah. <laughs> Try to see if you can hit my shit with your piss as it <laughs> hits the water. Sounds like a whole like song. Sounds shooting. Oh boy, I'm deeply disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Day has a freckle on her boob. Does she? Where that happened? Yeah, right there. Point it out, Iraq. Point out the flaw.
It's just a stain from when I shit on him. It might be, uh, yeah, might be a little dust. <laughs> She's never wiped it off that dirty, disgusting whore. <laughs> you haven't washed your tits since I shit on him? That's gross. Is that from Looker? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that movie. It's the first time I saw her naked. I was like, holy shit, she's naked. She's naked. naked. Get us out of here. For to listen to Opie and Anthony is more good than to work in the fruit roll-up factory making the fruit roll-up. When I was in Russia, we work and make things that so much better than your American. Because I, I you know, what, what do you, uh, let me just, uh, well, you already know, but. You don't want to work. Work good for you. <laughs> right. Why you don't want to work? I was farting so bad, and it stunk so bad. You fat American. <laughs> right. Russia is so much better than you, my friend. I think that would be something that maybe people should uh, need to know. Okay, back to work. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Louis C.K. in studio. Stephen Lynch in studio. We got Stu from uh, Fort Lauderdale on the line. Uh, well, on instant feedback, I should say. He writes, just a quick note of thanks. I'm a loyal listener of ONA, and I heard an ad you ran on XM for Fling Today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Met a hot 23-year-old. I'm 49. Thanks. What's Fling Today? Is that the? I think Will was talking about Fling today. We, yeah, we could have like affairs and stuff through this website. Are you kidding me? Is it flingtoday.com? What's the website? Well, I now I need think to know so. more, Stu. You got to give us more on this. Can't just send in. I a, vaguely a remember like that, that uh, Will was uh, talking about this new client, Fling Today, home of Fling and sex. Find Fling Today. That sounds like an email. Dailyfling.com, fling, maybe. That fling Today sent you. Yeah, right? Hoping you would read it on the Oh, really? Fling today just went like, yeah, this. <laughs> hey, that. God, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO of Fling Today. He just got an extra 30 seconds for nothing. <laughs> and I'm going to get a nice check in the mail because I'm playing along too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember Will talking about it, but uh, eh, whatever. It's really cool on the iPhone because <clears throat> I can hear when we're on speaker. Yeah. But then when I go to talk without the speaker, just hold it up. It uh, kind of goes mute. How come I can hear? Yeah, it's a good good feature in the iPhone. Make... Oh, yeah. Jesus. He is going to he is going to just throw that thing. I will actually break it. Yeah, yeah you I will. will actually break it. Yeah, I'm in for sure. 2 years on the fucking thing. I, I Yeah, really, now I you're right. Yeah. It. I totally The way I look it. at it is this. I have fucking <clears throat> told enough people exactly what this phone is. I've gotten my money back in a way. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to hurt Apple, but you know what? If if 500 less people in the entire two countries that are hearing this buy this Fucking piece of shit ripoff phone. <laughs> Stick to the Mac computers. I'm an Apple fanatic. I wanted this thing the instant I heard about it. Yeah. It's a piece of garbage. If you're the perfect consumer for the iPhone, you should not buy it. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> that's cool and all, but if, I, if I, your I, name is iPhone Haver. Yeah, <laughs> you should pass. Hey, FlinkToday.com. Yeah. Looking for a gay fling? Click here for guys in your area. Mm. And then it has uh, set, set up your fling today profile right now. It's free. And then you've got a lot of these. Hop these are the actual broads that you can stop. Yeah, sure. L look to your right, Jimmy. Are these broads you, you think you get through flingtoday.com? Oh, yeah. I bet you go on and they're lining right up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You know a thing or two about a thing or two, right, Jimmy? Sure do. Are, are, are those the models? Oh, yeah. A little the... bait and switch action going oh, on? No, no. Those are the regular girls. Those are yeah. The yeah. Ones you get. Yeah. Sure, they're waiting to have a fling and today. Yeah. <laughs> you could actually fuck the picture on your screen, <laughs> and it, your dick will actually go in. Hold on. Go to That's more girls that want to fuck from New York. Future. Yeah. Go down. More girls that want to fuck from New York. Here we go. So yeah. Lisa Lusty One wants to fuck you today, right? She wants to have a fling? Yeah. Yeah. Because she's just hanging around. Yeah. That's really what that video should have, that thing from 67 should have been. The future, you can come on the screen of the television. <laughs> yeah. That shows the big open pussy. The working husband is jerking off <laughs> to, to what wife. is called internet pornography. <laughs> <laughs> on his computer unit Fornicate. while the wife cooks on hers. Fornicate with a negress. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy's losing his mind over there. 
I, there's nothing I hate more than being fucking stolen from. What yeah. happened? Uh, who let's who see. stole something? What happened? Hold on. He's trying to um, uh -oh. circumnavigate something on his iPhone. Uh -oh. I see him pressing some right. buttons. There you go. He is. Hey, Jim, it's Lydia. Who's Lydia? Just took the speaker off. Where is the fucking volume? Where is it? Where is it? Lydia's my uh, literary agent. Wait, what happened? Do you have your volume off or something? No, I, we just heard it through speaker. Yeah, but is there yeah. is there something? When it goes off speaker, and, and, and I guess Steve Jobs is just so brilliant and so hip, he forgot that when you use a phone, you put it to your ear, <laughs> and you hold the other end to your mouth, yeah. and you talk and listen. Mm -hmm. You have to be the, wearing a black mock turtle for it to work. Ah, like yes, and do the little zip. Look, foot, foot, everything opens. Foot, foot, foot. I really want to break it. I, I want to break it. Is the case covering up maybe a sensor or something? You know something? what? You might let me take the case. That Give that a whirl. Off. Here's a, uh, let's see. Here's a, maybe I just don't know how to hit a volume thing. Do Here we go. it. Do it. No, do no, it. No. There's no way I'll do it. Yeah, it's about uh, 11. All right, take it off speaker, and then put the fucking ear part, not not the mouth part. But you'd hear it, dude. You'd hear it a little yeah. bit coming but out. Nothing. Yeah. So yeah. as soon as you take it off speaker, she goes away? That's Everything broken. Does. Of course it's broken. Of course it's broken. That's busted. Why wouldn't it be? Your do phone's busted. Do it. it do, do it. Do it. it. No, there's no way I'll break it. No, he as can't As much as I would it. love it, the satisfaction of baseball batting it would be yeah. wonderful. But I just can't now. But I'm just going to go back to no, the so you, Did you, you get you your $100? Me for two years. You fucking robbed me for two years. Did you years. get your $100? Oh, no, I went. Thing? The New York store doesn't have it. Uh, when, when the guy was blowing me off, when yeah. I was trying to buy a fucking $6,000 of the computer equipment, the guy was, yeah. was kind of a cunt to me. Right. I, I, uh. Okay. I, uh. Oh, boy. Whatever, man. I, I just fucking right. disgusted. I, and I love. You got me so hooked on fucking Mac. Yep. Well, you I didn't get your 100 that, Did you get your 100 have we got no, you're lazy. You you know, know, it's the same it. thing I, I did. I'll I was, dude, I was at the Apple store. <laughs> I went down to buy a, that big 30 inch monitor. Mm -hmm. And I go down there and um, I was there and didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was too, well, it was too much of a hassle. No, couldn't you have. could give me, like, if I got something in the mail that said, all you got to do is fill this out and take it to the post office, then and I'll get $14 uh, million. Dollars, and I'd be like, ugh. Oh, the know. post office. Oh, I have a shit. stamp. I got, oh, uh, fuck. I it would be sitting there so until it work. expired. Yeah. Right, right. Sitting Just... up on the counter. Let's go to Scott. Scott, what's up? <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, hey Scott. Hey, man. Um, so, uh, I had a horror story with Verizon. I, uh, bought a, like, $600 Verizon, uh, phone, and I had insurance for it, and it died pretty much three months into owning it, and they replaced it, and they actually had died yesterday, and still paying for insurance, I called up and said, look, I want to replace it, and they said, nope, sorry, I can't replace your phone, so I, I basically told Verizon to go fuck off. And, yeah, but that, they don't uh, care. The no, they don't care, and, The uh, whole, you know, you know go fuck yourself call. doesn't... No, yeah, they yeah, don't well, care. they don't take a baseball bat to it and put it up on YouTube. And <laughs> they don't feel it. They don't have any nerve endings in their phones. <laughs> well, dude, you're right. Verizon can be scumbags, too. I'm certainly not saying that they can't be. Every phone company is shit. My problem is just this perception and the way that you get right, the black turtleneck and the way they zip through everything with their fingers and then mm. for me not to be able to hear on it. it and the speaker yeah. volume is atrocious. You know what the best thing is? We should just uh, just pop up the uh, video from when they introduced it Yeah. To, for Jimmy. And look at the picture and now look at what I'm doing with it. Yeah, and, and the whole audience is just freaking out. <laughs> so stupid. Dude, How about a phone call? <laughs> the real problem with it is not with not having tactile number buttons. Yeah. Is it means that you have to look at it like forty percent more than you would. You don't realize how much you don't look at your phone when you're using it. Yeah. Because you feel the numbers under your thumb. You don't miss mm. by a number because you're That's pressing a piece true. of smooth glass. <laughs> piece ah, of yeah. Shit. My friend Ken. Uh, is it really that bad? I wrote back, I fucking hate it. And he goes, I was going to buy one. Thanks. You're welcome, Ken. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's good. There you good. go. One happy customer. <laughs> there it Don't is. Spread Do the it. word. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> well, let's go to Harry in Buffalo. Uh, Harry, what's up? Hey, I was going to order an iPhone this week. Why don't you just tell him about the discount, Harry? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about the discount. Like but anyway, go ahead. Well, 
What I wanted to order was, I wanted to order a traveling virus to Buffalo because you shit dicks ain't coming. Ah, uh, see, they're all mad at us in Buffalo because us shit dicks ain't coming up there for the uh, traveling virus. That wasn't our fault, sir. Yeah, exactly. Well, he hung up on us, so apparently uh, uh, he wins. We are shit dicks. Hold on, let's go to the old K Rock phones. <laughs> oh. Hello. Yeah. Hi, K Rock. Yeah. Hey, uh, what, uh, 1992? Yes, yeah, sir. Awesome, man. You got it, baby. So, uh, what is that, Foo Fighter tickets? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's awesome, <laughs> Yeah. That's but, great. Uh, hello? You guys, are, you got him? What's that? You got him? I, I, I guess so. How, uh, that's awesome. What, what day is that for? Um, I believe it is the, uh, 26th. 26th, fantastic. So I have to give you my, uh, my name and address and all that stuff? Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. What's up? Am I calling on you too? Oh. Holy shit. Am I? Yeah, you're calling ninety two. I'm calling ninety two. Yeah, you want you just won tickets to Foo Fighters at every club. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. That's great. I'm dying to see them. I love that new song. Hello. 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 Am I caller 92? Am I? Hello. Hello. Oh, crap. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. My caller 92. 92. Hello. 92. Hello. 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. Hello? 92. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Hello? 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 Yes? Hello? Yes? Did I, did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Yes? Who's the winner? Sandy. Hello? 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 Yeah. We have a win. Hello? Do, do we have oh, a winner? Uh, Sandy. Uh, hello? Sandy. Hi. Uh, what? Hello? Sandy? Uh, yeah, this is Sandy. George. George. What? George. We have a winner? We do. Oh, me. Sandy. George. Yes, I'm... George. Wait. Um. Sandy? Ah, uh, George. I'm Sandy. George. Wait. George? George. George. Yeah, George. 92? 92. 92. Wait. Foo Wait. Fighters. Please. Hello. Tickets? Hello. Sandy. Irving Plaza. Ah, uh, George. George. I'm Sandy. Sandy. George? Hello. Winners? Hey. Tickets. W Hello. Irving Plaza. 92. Foo Fighters. <laughs> now. Sandy? Sandy. George. George. Foo Fighters. <laughs> Foo Fighters. Irving? Irving Plaza? Fades. Agnieszka. <laughs> What's going on? Right. Suck blank for K Rock. Suck. What's going on? Sandy. Sandy. George. George. AIDS. <laughs> George ninety two. Hello. George Lopez. George ninety two. George ninety two. Sandy ninety two. Ninety two K Rock. Uh, oh, 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 
Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Oh, wow. Oh, Sandy. 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 Sorry. George. 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 Yeah, George. Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Oh, Sandy. George of the jungle. Ninety three. Oh. oh, George. Oh boy. Hello, George. Yeah. You didn't get the Hello. text. Sandy. Ninety one. Yeah. Sandy. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Oh, oh Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Please. Foo Fighters, Irving Plaza, Sandy, yes. suck cock for K Rock. Not George. Not going. George. 92. So do you... Hello? Hello? I'm here. All I hear is a bunch of voices. Sandy. 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 Yes. Sandy. Yes. Ir Irving Plaza. George. Yeah. Foo George. Fighters. George. George. Who is George? I'm George. I don't... George. Yeah. 91. Sandy? Yeah. 93. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. 92. 92. 92. 92, Sandy. <laughs> so, the, uh, so I did win. Oh, Sandy. no. Wow. Oh. Oh, but. Sandy. George. Yeah. George. Irving Plaza. Yes. Foo Fighters. Yes. George, 92. Uh, I'm 92. George, 92. George, 92. 92. Awesome. Sandy, oh. 92. Cup of... Dirt. Urine. Damn. Hickory dickory... Cock. Cock? George. Yeah. George? Yeah. Question. Sure. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. No, no, sorry. Oh no. No. Jack Sandy. <clears throat> Sandy? Yes. Hey diddle diddle. Alright, you could have just said I didn't win rather than keep me on the phone. Uh, oh Sandy. Well I've got all day. But oh Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, Sandy. Foo Fighters. What is this game? Name a Foo Fighters song. Uh, fucking Dave Grohl, man. Oh. I wanna... oh. Song, Sandy. A song. song. A Foo oh. Fighters song. Oh, a song? Yeah. Uh, I guess Everlong. Oh. 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 Uh, sorry. Come on. Wrong song. Sorry. Sandy? Yeah. 92. 92. <laughs> George? Yeah. 94. 94? Minus two equals ninety-two. Oh, ninety-two, Sandy. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. Three. K Rock. Ugh. George. Yeah. Sandy. What? Sandy. Why the long face? <laughs> Hello? Sandy. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why you people are taking pride in this. Sandy, annoyed? <laughs> Pissed? I'm trying to figure out whether this is just a big funny game. Aggravated. Foo Fighters. Not happy? 92, 3 K Rock. Waste of time? Sandy. Sandy, listen. <laughs> George? George? I'm here. Sandy hung up. Did she? Yes. Mm. Hey. But thanks for calling. You were the uh, 93rd. 48th. All right, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was she pissed? She was just... Yeah, Sandy? Why do you, why, it's why why do you people yes, take yes. pride in this? Why? Why? Why do you why? people take, take pride, pride in this? this? Now, for the people... <laughs> In America, we have two sets of phone lines here. This is the K-Rock line. Right. After we go off the air, they play music and they give away their concert tickets and stuff. Now, our stupid pests now know what we're doing, so watch what happens now.
Yeah, this will all be passed. Hello. Yeah, hello. 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 How many people? people? Are... Hello. Hello. What? <laughs> Is... I would like some fighter tickets, please. Is the oh, caller there? Uh... Is the caller there? What's up? I'm here. I don't hear her. Do you hear her? No. Mm -hmm. No. You don't hear me? Foo, fi hear Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters tickets. Foo Fighters. Yes. This is Animal. Who we got on the line? You got Andre. Who? Oh. Andre, not loud enough. Andre. I Not loud enough. How about this? Andre. No. No, not loud enough. <laughs> Louder. Who do I got to do for tickets, man? You got to suck cock for k Rack. Suck cock for k Rock. Hello? Who's on the phone? Andre. Yeah, I heard a female. Lauren. I think she hung up. Lauren. Lauren. Oh, yeah, Lauren. Suck, yeah, suck cock for k rat No, 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 no. My girlfriend will, though. Come on, Foo Fighters. <laughs> Lauren, do you, you know, suck? Can't hear. No, no, no. Lauren wants to go see the Foo Fighters. Who yeah. does? <laughs> Lauren. Me hey, from Staten Island. We're well, going to have you two Foo fight it out. Uh-oh. Fight it out? Yeah, we're Why doing our food fight yeah. fighter contest. <laughs> so Andre, punch her in the twat. Whoever can get the other one there. I'll uppercut her taint for those tickets. Oh, sorry. Lauren, what will you do for the tickets? He'll uppercut your taint. Excuse me? Yeah, he's he just uppercut your taint. That kind of hurts. Now you got to come back. You're, you're foo fighting. So what do you come back with? Yeah. I'll foo finger her too. Oh no, he just foo fingered you. What are you gonna do? He punched in the in the taint and he foo fingered you. So Lauren. far he's winning, Lauren. How, what are you doing? Well, you got to get him back. You're foo fighting. Right. What do you got? I don't know. I'm not really very violent, but I kick him in the balls if you want. A right, kick in the balls. Gonna kick him in the balls. Ball. It's not too creative, but yeah, it's but, effective. But we got a foo fight. We got, we got a, a foo fight. fight. Foo fight going on right, right now. Foo fight on K Rock. I got three balls, so she could choose. You got uh, how uh, many? Wow. All right, Lauren, what else are you doing? He's coming up to you. He might give you another uh, shot. What are you going to do? Um, all right, so so far I'm kicking her. Please me and I'll go with her. Make, make, it, make it hurt. Make it hurt. All right, well, let's see. If I'm kicking him in the balls, he's going to be down. I guess I can, I don't know. Maybe I kick him in the head at that point. Oosh. Oh. He's going to be tumbled over, right? Damn. <laughs> yeah, damn. I don't know about that. I think that was kind of corny. Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pwned. You've been pwned. I'll fuck you if, I'll break, if I win the game. Foo fuck you. you. Oh boy, you now can't say it on the, uh, uh, you can't say foo fuck Come you on, on the air. You That's all right. Fucking we'll... cunt face. <laughs> you can't say foo fuck on the air. Yeah, it's FCC rules. Fucking FCC, you, like you say, shit fuck. cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what, what? What? Are we done with the foo fight? I don't know. Well, Lauren, it's know. it's to you. He's going to... Lauren, you got to get graphic. Graphic? But I thought, I thought you can't get graphic on Right. Me. Nah, don't worry about she it. gave up. I think I want her. We'll, we'll... Don't worry about it, Andre. You just sit down and shut up. Yeah, we'll <laughs> let let her, Lauren uh, kick your ass a little bit. All right. Lauren, what are you going to do? Reach in with two fingers and do something. Wow. Go ahead. I can't get graphic on K Rock. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh my <laughs> God! Oh, my Jesus, God. you're gonna lose. How about we go with our uh, our uh, make them growl to see growl contest? Oh, growl to see growl. <laughs> oh, since the foo fighting didn't work out. No, thank you, Tom. Feel it. Ah! Right, hold on, I'm 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 at work. I have to go outside if we're fighting. I can't. No, no. We want you to growl for growl. Growl? I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. I, uh, uh, I heard a growl for growl. I think Andre growl oh, for that growl. Was fine. It was a little corny, but no, no, I think that was Lauren. Yeah, we need uh we need a better growl for growl. A growl for growl. Yeah, keep really saying want it. want a growl like a really really loud growl? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a... yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Growl for growl. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'd be screaming my head off Excuse if I was at the suck. concert. Uh, listen, it's either that or we're going to foo fuck you. <laughs> fuck all. You might not be screaming your head off. If you want, the, could, could you sneeze your cunt off? <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. How about okay. you? What? Yeah, is, there, is there any chance that, I, that I'm getting tickets? Are you going to growl for Grohl or what? Growl for Grohl. Am I getting abused or anything? When are you going to realize you didn't win the stupid tickets, you bitch? <laughs> <laughs> How much more obvious can we make it? Ticket slut. Make her moan. Maybe she'll do that. Rise whore. <laughs> Tell her to moan for growl. She'll probably do that. Why don't you moan for a dick in your ass, you fat? <laughs> yeah, you, you were calling up, too. <laughs> yeah, you were calling, too. What do you think? You're in the same boat she's in. You're better. Yeah. The SS loser. <laughs> what do you think? We like cock? Of course we would have gave it to her. Yeah. In this case. Exactly. We, we had anything turn, to give away. You turn your dick inside out and fuck it? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to see Dave Grohl? Turn yep. on fucking MTV and hope for the best. Yeah. Oh, that wow. sucks. Yeah. That's yeah. how we feel it doesn't suck. about you. It doesn't suck to us. I'm going to the show. Front row, my friend. That's what us radio people do. Just, uh, just if, if if you end up there, just ask for animal. This is what we do to everybody who doesn't the front get row. everybody who doesn't get tickets gets this. You <laughs> fuck faces. Wow, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, front row. Like we give a shit about our listeners. Now go away and get back to work. Tell them animal sent you. We got a cushy job to get back to. Goodbye. Oh, listen, to kisser, cunts. So I know we listen to you. What? Exactly. Uh, poor guys were picked in high school. They need some rent out. Give me some goddamn tickets. Not only do you like to be fucking so your ass, the tickets. but you push back and dare him to do it harder. You're a queer and you're getting nothing. <laughs> so long, faggot. I'll give you a ticket to a load. What are you thinking, them apples? I'll give you a bleedy dick in your anus. That's right. You get three kinds of AIDS at the same time. That's right. You useless fucking homosexual. Jesus, you non, you non-contributing gay man. That's right. Lou's giving you the business. <laughs> if there was a Lou here, there's not a Sir? Lou. This is animal. <laughs> Sir? 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 Miss? No, she hung up. Sir? Are you not done? No, Can no, we're not done. Did you go Did now? Why don't you hang up? Our phone's broke. We don't have a hang-up button. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We need that. That's why we've been so mean. We want people to hang up. Yeah. Can you go now, no, please? I'm not hanging up. I want those goddamn tickets. There's something wrong with our phone. You called the cum sniffer hotline. <laughs> we have no hang up power. The only way you're getting a ticket is if you park your car up your mother's cunt, which is a <laughs> fucking towway zone because it's so disgusting in there. <laughs> You'll get a ticket for not filling the area enough. <laughs> when did you realize that you, you called the party line, too sir? Big just for one car. You reached the gay man's. Hotline. Hi, if you're into hot gay ass sex, stay on the line. Hello, Andre? <laughs> Please push any key. Push any key for If gay you are a cocksucker. Yeah, push those keys, you <laughs> dick sucker. <laughs> push one if you like balls in your mouth. Push two if you like your asshole to be pulled out like a bloody tube sock. <laughs> he ain't gonna stop. Let him push. Let him push. I love it. Zero. <laughs> oh, hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> Chat line, hello. But there are also many, many other people who just. Love my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Just play a little oh. tune. Oh. Musical faggot. <laughs> Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oosh. 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 Damn, you've been foo fisted. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, you just been pwned. <laughs> I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> we really are phoning it in. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> God damn. Oh, this is unlisteable. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is just the worst.
What are we doing? This is for our own entertainment. Here we are shitting on Steve Jobs for making a bad iPhone. No, we're uh, sitting we sitting here we're bashing gonna... for our own entertainment. <laughs> it's the entertainment of one, two, three, six people or so. That's about it. That's it. Hey, uh, buddy. Yeah. You hung in there a long time. Yep. Yeah. So guess what we're going to do? Uh, I give up. We're guess gonna... where you're going, sir. We're going to call you a faggot again. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. And give you a little of this. Damn, you just been pwned. Bozzy, bozzy, bop. Exactly. Uh, That's right. I'm a police officer. <laughs> hey, what happened? That doesn't match. Sir? Huh? <laughs> You don't get tickets, but you can have the end of Eddie Van Halen's tongue in a glad baggie <laughs> if you want that. Listen, listen up. <laughs> These are all different. I know. I know. You, you know, Andre. We, we <laughs> understand. <laughs> You're frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> we, we understand. I know why that makes you feel better. I understand. Uh, I'd be doing the same thing in your position. Absolutely. Oh, you like that, don't it. you faggot. I wish I knew how to quit you. Those men wanted to have sex with me. If you yes. uh, if you have a small dick, push a button. <laughs> oh, that's what the thing is. Yeah, yeah. small dick, huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, with deep throat. if you let a gorilla fuck you in the ass, <laughs> it'll make you forget how small your dick is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you been flying a long time. You guys do a lot of work. <laughs> We do. We are. This is our jobs. Yeah, we got to get back oh, to. Oh man, it's a great job. You get to poke fun of people you don't even fucking know. Poke fun. Poke fun. Eat poke fun. fun. Poke oh, fun. Whoa, Annihilate hey. verbally. All I've heard is faggot and fucking gay jokes. Your whole time. life, you mean? <laughs> 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 you know, it's not easy being a board up here at K Rock. So no. please relax. Yeah. We want to have a little fun because we make like eight bucks an hour. I'm rel I'm relaxed, buddy. I'm calling for tickets. Well, how, yeah, and we, we're the guys that, you know, work the board and stuff, but, you know, if you kind of... If it bothers you, you should hang up and call the same number again and complain about everything we did. Yeah, we yeah. control the uh, Because the our tickets. bosses at K-Rock will probably fire us. Yeah, okay. I love you, Johnny Cakes. I love you, Johnny Cakes. Listen, listen, uh, why don't we just play a song for you and make, make nice here? Yeah, what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? Uh, you got any Britney Spears? Ah, uh, see, that, <laughs> see, that was stupid. Yeah, don't go for the laugh, sir. We... No, I, I don't want a fucking song. I want tickets, man. Yeah, what but do you, who do you want to see? We're an alternative rock station. Why how don't about, you buy them? How about this? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Hicksville. All right, what's your name? My name's Andre. All right, oh, yeah. So you go, hi, this is Andre from Hicksville. You can say who, hi to whoever you want and then request a song. A shout-out. Shout-out. Uh, this is Andre. No, no, hold on. we got to roll tape and stuff, and then we'll play it. What song you want to hear, though? i got to make sure it's in the library. Uh, uh, just put in some Enter the Sandman. Fuck it. I haven't heard some Metallica. All right. Enter the Sandman. All right. Fucking gay song. All right, ready? Yeah, well, uh, hold on. Of... All right, hold on. Uh, I just want to Hold on. Out, when I, I say... No, 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 no. I want to run uh, tape for you here. All right, ready? We're recording right now. How you doing? My name is Andre from Hicksville. I want to give a shout out to Amanda and her family. Passed away yesterday. And, cut, um, cut, cut, cut. Your phone is crapping out. Are you on a cell phone? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's try yeah, that again. Why. All right. Let's try that again. All right. Quiet in the studio. Here we go. One, two, three, and we're recording. All right. Everyone at K Rock, stop my dick. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, I coughed. Did you cough? Damn it. All right, can we try that again? Hello? Sir? Sir. Yeah. Andre, Hicksville, yeah. shout out. Uh, say how great the radio station is, and then the song. We'll start playing over your phone call, okay? Here You're going to go. get your own, the song you want, and we're going to give you a pillbox hat made out of Amanda's clit. Nice. All right, here, yep. we, go. here we go. We're recording in three, two... <laughs> He's gone. Did he finally hang There out? he goes. He finally fucking had it. Jesus. So what does he oh, do we, all day? We are the most persistent asshole. <laughs> oh, is that the worst?
How, well, that was like 20 minutes. Oh, of just us being douchebags. <laughs> bothering one man. For nothing. <laughs> bothering one. It was finally dead Amanda's pillbox hat. <laughs> yeah, so maybe good. that did it. Well, all right, after that, we just got to do line of the day, I think. Yeah. yeah well, I got to go get my phone fixed, because why should I be able to hear? Why? Why, why, why? You check your settings. I reset them. I didn't you reset them. reset them. Well, then they should be fine. Yeah, they should. Let's try. Have we got some lines? Yes. All right, what do we got? Some here? lines? Yes, about uh, 1140. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah. Why would it work? Ugh. Led Zeppelin set for reunion gig in London. Here it is. What? Official announcement. Oof. Rock legends Led Zeppelin were set to announce a one-off comeback concert on Wednesday, nearly three decades after disbanding. Yuck. There it is. They can do late. one show in November in they London. Already, they did Live Aid or whatever, didn't they? Yeah. With Jason Bonham. They already did this. And it sucked. It did suck. I Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> you need fooling. <laughs> Baby, I'm schooling. All right, we got uh, runner-up lines of the day. Oh, line of the day brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. If you're playing fantasy football this year, head over to BodogFantasy.net for everything you need to win the season. Here's a runner-up line of the day. What are you doing, E-Rock? Oh, it's not E-Rock. If it was playing, we'd hear it. It's obviously your fault. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, shoulder shot. Here's a runner-up line of the day. Go. <laughs> Is it still playing? We're all... Was it, oh, E-Rock. Are you all deaf and you have good ears? <laughs> Fundamental radio. He's playing uh, it through the iPhone. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, it's Jimmy's iPhone. Uh, uh, problem, out. Iraq? What? Just say it, Iraq. What's wrong? Nothing. It's not being heard on the airwaves. They're yeah. implying that you made an air rope. Why are you calling me a dick? Oh, shit. Snap. What? Called him a dick. Yeah, he boards <laughs> off. Oh, dick. The whole time. But you just blew the call by not saying dick. That. Dude. Damn. You just been pwned. Oh, yeah? No shit. Oh, yeah? I like to make werewolf movies. Doesn't compare to this. Us. <laughs> Nothing does. <laughs> Nothing does. Us. How did my fucking clip go down to second place all of a sudden? Dude. Damn. This was... You just been pwned. You've been pwned. Just deal with it. But this was the one... I like to make werewolf movies. This is okay. the most popular until today. That's always funny. But <laughs> What's the top five, you think? That one is up there. Too uh, bad he can't be where normal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's normal. I don't make when werewolf there's movies. There's a full moon. Uh, this... I like tying my shoes without shitting my pants <laughs> just <laughs> once in my life. Just once. Why does God hate me? <laughs> Uh, this just in. Yes. John Bonham is coming back, but he'll be a little stiff and rusty. Oh, uh, <laughs> see. I get it. All right, here's a runner-up line of the day. You rock? Yeah, when they're three, you're like, so what? She won't remember this, you know? They I'll do. punch her in the face. It doesn't matter. They're going to wipe the hard drive in a minute. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Such a great analogy. Yep. <laughs> By the way, in case you're drive. wondering, Pat uh, Duffy never came back, so... Yeah, yeah, what happened? We don't know what that's that. about. So Don't know what happened. We'll find out hopefully tomorrow. He was abducted wearing a little backpack. <laughs> Somebody Someone snatched him up. Uh, here's a, another runner-up line of the day. Gotta go. Well, if it's worse than cocaine, but yeah. it's not because it doesn't have a taste. So this. Yeah. What? Well, uh, yeah, I don't get it. Like Hell no. Is this guy going to fill his pool up with tab? <laughs> 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 yes, of course. You got something in your shoe, Jimmy? My orthotics are broken in half. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> orthotics? You're too young. Look at your orthotics. orthotics. My orthotics are broken. Oy vey. Go on without me. <laughs> Just the worst on this show. We're all broken in so uh, many ways. Everyone's busted. Yeah. I wish Boss was here. So we could do that reference he does from the Christmas movie about the uh, the island for broken toys. <laughs> oh, he fucking that reference! I want to fucking just I want to lick his teeth. Oh God! <laughs> fucking. Uh.
Hell no to H2O. Hell no to H2O. It's an epidemic. Hell no to H2O. Hell no to H2O. Worst push, push. Hell no to H2O. Hell no to H2O. Push, push, push. Hell no to H2O. Gotta go when you serve that H2O. Push. What is that? <laughs> Hello. You missed a lot today. I did, yeah. We started a new bit called uh, Morning Zoo Bits of the Day. Okay. So then we're just like... Oh, that's somebody's zoo. It's zoo one of someone's awful fucking oh, shit God. song. They put it on parody. their show thinking, wow, this is going to get people listening. Oh, God. Oh, Hold on. Is they that... produced that. Somebody yeah. spent some time on GarageBand and made that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to hear Rock'em? Wait, Kid like, Rock'em? You know, every time I do one of these zoo shows, because I, you know, when I work at club, I have to call in the morning before to all the radio stations. Yeah. If I don't go personally and the person that was right before i go on on the phone always says um the fellow you're going to hear is his name is you know whatever a uh, cow face <laughs> um uh zach jack is the guy with a deeper voice and then the woman is linda or whatever <laughs> i'm like you don't have to tell me like I need to fucking know who the douchebags are on the radio that I'm <laughs> talking to. Oh, make sure that you're clear. Okay. And occasionally a madman is going to chime in. Madman is chimes in. Madman will background. chime in. Oh, good thing I know that. Yeah. That's, that's their stunt for. You don't yeah. really have to answer to madman though. Do they think I'm going to like try to sound folksy by going, "Well, I'll tell you what, madman, thanks for the question." <laughs> yeah. So you're you're, like, you know, I'm not, you're like, local. I'm going to fucking bother saying their names. Uh, and we wonder why people don't want to do radio shows. Like uh, we get pissed every day. Because uh, we're lumped in that same shit. Hey, uh, MrBaconPants.com needs a plug, so why don't we give MrBaconPants.com? You're going to be talking to Mr. Bacon Pants? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we find out what Mr. Uh, yes, Jimmy? Mr. BaconPants.com is all about? Yes. I just want to talk to other Than. <laughs> has, has everybody noticed that he, you are him without a hat? You look exactly what? like Than without what? a hat. Could someone? Could you put your hat on him for a second? <laughs> I want to talk to other Than for a second. <laughs> That's a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I see shape it. is bugging me. Of course you see it. <laughs> Ew, this guy is. His name's Bill. Do you smell name? bacon? If you don't, that's my new. Bill name. for short. I don't know what Mr. Bacon Pants. Ah, whatever. But he wanted a plug. There you go. There's your plug. Fuck hey, Mr. Bill. Bacon Pants. Nailed, right? Yeah, that was a, uh, oh, Jesus. Bacon flavored cat food. Asking. It's one of those things where, um, he's still, uh, wait, wait, wait. like, yeah, he's still there. wondering. Why is he staring at us? You all right? You all right there, Bill? What? Who's? I didn't hear you. Oh, what? shit. What? There's a mic over there. What happened? Sorry. You're still in the room. What happened? Somebody just called my name. I think someone said Will. I don't think it was you. I'm sorry. Huh. What are you doing? Sorry. Because I said Bill just before. I said, hey, it's Bill. But that was when you were over there. Remember Not that? when you were walking out the door. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? We were in the remember middle. you were over there? We were in the middle okay. of our Mr. Bacon Pants oh. bit, too. You said, I remember when I was over there. It's getting a little feisty. Kind of an interruption. We're in the middle of Mr. Little Mr. Bacon Pants. Mr. Bacon Pants. You know anything about that? We got top okay. uh, nine things to do with You're bacon. You're free to go. I was going to read off. Well, Thank you, Bill. We'll see you later. Your name Thank is you, Bill. Other Than from now on because he looks like Than. Oh, you dropped some. Oh, my God. He left. He looks military. Bill? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your line of the Bill's day. Bill's a creep <laughs> squared. Oh, God. He wouldn't go away. That was so funny. <laughs> Jimmy says his name and he just stand there staring at him. I've never gotten anybody so well. He actually came back. I know. He came back. I know. He fucking had a dagger. He actually came on the air to see what you wanted. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Someone else needs a plug today. Uh, please check out meatspin.com. Meatspin. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a doozy. <laughs> hey, I want to see the top things you can do with bacon. Thank you. Sleeping with bacon? Wait, go back, go up. Oh, no. Up, up. Nine things that might be weird with bacon. Oh, no. This is stupid. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here, here's your line of the day. Here, here comes la 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 la. Line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. Push. Push. What's wrong with Choses? Choses? 
Nothing. I like the choses from time you to time. Could, I understood what he meant by it. Perhaps you should choose English instead of football. <laughs> Oosh. Damn. You just been pwned. <laughs> he followed it up with us. I didn't know that. Hey, that's all right. That was a great line. All right, let's get the plugs in. Stephen Lynch on MySpace for his tour dates. Yeah. He'll be uh, performing with us on Saturday in Camden. Yes. Tomorrow in Boston. The last date of our comedy tour. Tomorrow in Boston where? Uh, Berkeley Performance Center. Oh, it's supposed to be a good room. Ooh, that's a yeah. nice room. A thousand seats, two thousand seats, nice place, right? I don't know, I've never been there. I used to live around the corner. No one asked you. <laughs> you that's where they uh dumped off the nanny in the dumpster. Close to there, right? Right? I guess so. I don't remember. Half a nanny. Half. I got a hand job from a skinny black woman there <laughs> in, in the doorway of that building. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andy. It was very sad because I was like twenty two. I was like a you know, young guy with all my hair and she's jerking me off. I kinda looked up at my face like Really? You need this? <laughs> you like, need she even know, like, yeah, what are you like, doing? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a great gig. You'll have a good time. Uh, I'm going to think about that when I enter the building. Okay. That's where it was. There's probably still some of my jizz <laughs> clinging to the ground like a piece of gum. You go on there, you're going to see some of Louis' potato place all over the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, we get it. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to read more internet addresses, but I have a feeling... The, th the authorities will come if I read any more of these. I'm not taking a chance. See, I'm <clears throat> smart. Yeah. We'll, we'll be in Philly tomorrow on Friday, right? Yes. I'm at uh, in Orlando at the Hard Rock Friday. All right. And check out superdeluxe.com because me and Florentine did some stuff on there. All right. Can we play a Lynch song? Uh, what song you want to hear? Here, not play. Uh, he throws his hands. <laughs> his I don't want to hear any of my songs. <laughs> but, I hate my songs and I'm tired uh, of them. You can't be tired of them. They're good. That's exactly how you Zeppelin's going to feel, day. man. You used to say you hated Broadway, remember? Uh, still do. All right. All right. <laughs> still do. What, what, what do we want to hear? Craig Christ, we played a lot, though. How about um, Kill the Kitten? One. Or, uh, I played that one a lot. Oh, do we play a lot? I'm trying to think of one we haven't played in a while. That's all. Down to the old pub instead. Oh, uh, with Anthony's like penny yes. whistle. Uh, I actually, I actually get to do a little solo in that one. <laughs> I like that. I'm worried about that. <laughs> yes, we'll end with Stephen Lynch today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got it there, E Rock. You sure? I bet he's not. No, of course he's not. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Oh, good work, E Rock. See you tomorrow in Philly, man. Made up. Lad, it's your duty to find your lass With childbearing hips and a pink supple ass And make her your wife and love her with love so true Now some rivers run high, some rivers run low When her river runs red, then she starts in her flow And it's called menstruation, here's what it means to you You will notice her bloomers are spotty at first Stand back, her ovarian dam's gonna burst Son, don't be afraid, it's a natural thing just wad up some cotton and hand her a string And put the old linens on top of the bed Get out of the house and go down to the old pub instead <laughs> Hundreds of years old <laughs> That's why bloomers Aye uh, yeah, yeah. Aye She'll retain her water, her breasts will be tender Say something nice and you're sure to offend her Get out of the house and go down to the old pub instead She'll want to make love if you do, you're a fool You'll only end up with a bloody old tool Now get out of the house, go down to the old pub instead <laughs> She'll want you to sample the fruit of her loins But son, it'll taste like some old rusty coins So turn off the light and take off your hat And drop to your knees, say a prayer to St. Pat That'll give you the strength to get out of the bed And for Ireland's sake, go down to the old pub instead <laughs> I, I feel a a solo coming on. Oh, really? <laughs> Perhaps right here, Anthony. <laughs> Very good. Now the pub is the place where the lads are a-meeting When the moon is full and the gals are a-bleeding The Catholic, the Protestant, even the pagan The pub is the place when your lady is ragging So drink of your pint, boys, and thank your shamrocks That as menfolk we don't have to bleed from our c*** 
And that we can escape from the lady in red and get out of the house and go down to the old pub instead. 